Welcome to the stream guys, this is Kane, your favorite extreme strategy game. We are back and today we're going to be playing Crossroads Inn. Thought it looked interesting and Zaga was playing it. And the dev sent me a copy for review. So here we are, version 2.08. I heard that it's really buggy. But let's find out. Let's play the campaign, shall we? Yeah, that intro is really sick though. Delos, really smooth. A continent where three rival kingdoms are fighting for dominance and gold. For many centuries, one has always had the upper hand. Your veil. With its prospering cities, it has the economic strength to challenge the trade power of southern Zambria. And with its city's high walls, it can withstand the military might of Untermarch, neighboring. Oh shit. I think when I cancelled the, the intro. The king of Yorvale was, <laughs> it was a pretty dead cool in intro. his chambers. Oh well. The whole kingdom Ooh, went into mourning. His death surprised all. For until then the king had enjoyed excellent health. All right, ladies, it had been widely believed that his reign would be long and fruitful. The investigation was short, and the official statement declared heart disease to be the cause of death. But people knew. They remembered how the royal children had died in mysterious circumstances while still young. And so they started talking, albeit quietly, about a conspiracy to kill the king and his dynasty. Meanwhile, at the southeastern end of Yorvale, far away from the big world of politics, in a small town, a young lad was preparing to take over his uncle's inn. Martin Brevet was getting old, and he still had a few things he wanted to teach his nephew. Cool. All right, so far so good. That's us. Nice little outline shader here. Martin, good news. I've managed to convince the miller to have his son's wedding at our inn. Wonderful news. We can finally make it the inn of our dreams. Exactly. What's more, I took an advance payment to cover the expansion of our inn. Otherwise, all these people would never fit inside. And you will take care of that. You received 5,000 guldens. Can't wait to begin. So I close the inn for now, no one will disturb you. Do you need my help or can you handle it by yourself? Uh, I need your tu- yeah, I need the tutorial. Let's get to work. First, we need to expand the main hall. Expand it by a few slots. That should be enough breathing space for the guests. Slots, huh? Well, that. Clicky. That. Rooms. Rooms. And then, this. Main hall. How do I sell? No, I don't want to sell that. Empty room. Do they mean room? It said expand by a few slots. Mm. Hmm. I'm I'm not sure what they actually mean. What do they mean? Select the building tool, click on the room you want to expand. Um Okay, alright, and then, oh I see, they want me to expand here, alright, cool, is that, is that good? Hey, my flooring is different, hmm, so, are we good? Are we good? <laughs> no idea, man, oh, okay, we're good, I think. Now, let's set up some tables. The more places to sit, the more guests can be served simultaneously. But be careful not to go over the budget. Um, okay, I'm on it. Tables, huh? That. Don't go over the budget. Okay. I suppose I can put one here. And one here. Mm, looks like I could. Uh, 
I might want to expand this way, right? So maybe we'll put these along the walls. Can we rotate the camera? Ah, oh, there you go. There you go. There you go. That's how you do it. Oh, wait. Did it? Oh, okay. So three benches, three tables were all we needed. Since you're setting up the tables, you will also need benches. Just stand at once, alright? Make sure they face and adjoin the tables. Go! Yeah, I'm on it, Uncle. Alright, so now we get benches. These look like benches. Yeah. Okay. Okay, we good? And the table is on yeah, I think we're good. We got that done. Now what? The now boy's what? gonna now be what? just sure. fine. Mark a new job. Days three, bonus ten. Ah, it looks like a cool game, man. The boy's Your employee gonna be is leveling just up. Fine. My employee is leveling up. I'm not too old for this shit, but I'm getting close. Uh, Alright. I don't know what else to do. We, we, put this, we put the benches and the tables. What else do we need? I don't know. Renovate the inn. On it. Oh, there you go. Place seats next to table three out of six. Wait a second. I need to put six benches. Oh, in that case, then I placed them wrongly. Can I re reposition these things? Okay, I think we screwed up because it looks like you can put benches on both sides of the table. Uh, I thought you couldn't do that because you see when they when they put this thing, I thought oh maybe you can only maybe you can only put like one bench but it looks like you can put two benches so we messed it up for sure so I'm gonna add some more because clearly we messed it up because you can put mumbo shige apparently so yes we'll put some more oh won't let us do any more I've been thinking it's kind of dark in here Better place a candle holder somewhere, otherwise people might stab each other with the forks instead of the food. Right away. Candle holder, huh? Candle holder. That, what's that? That's a torch. That's a candelabra. Alright, so... Probably gonna... Rearrange the furniture, because it's kind of a mess right now. Just one? It's almost ready. Just take this barrel and place it close to the counter. It's for serving drinks, and we don't want to spend too much time running back and forth. I'll go get it. Barrel, huh? This one? Simple barrel? What do they mean, wine barrel? I'm guessing it's simple barrel. Near the counter, right? All right, this is the counter. <laughs> Boom! Oh, derping around. Good job, we can still add a few things, but overall it looks pretty good. Interior looks better than ever. Well, I see you lack no enthusiasm today. Get to work then. Collect your reward from the innkeeper's journal. And when you're done, let me know. There's something else I need to talk to you about. Yeah, sure. Journal, hmm? Huh? Innkeeper's journal? Oh, that. Help. And tips. What do I do, do, do? You want me to do? You want me to collect something from the journal? Uh, I don't think you want me to read the journal, do you? I don't know. I can't even close it. Oh, I guess we're supposed to click something. I don't know why they give, didn't give us any, eh, like a highlight or hint or something. Alright, so you can switch between cameras with tab to move the camera horizontally. Use WASD, use the middle mouse to move the edge, rotate it by pressing the right mouse button. Sure, sure. 
Fundamental role in the functioning man, sure. Servant maid, housekeeper, furniture matter, stress. Okay, can we get on with this now? Little bit of money. Okay, okay, sure, sure, sure. Close it! No, it won't let me. In the furniture man. No, this is not it. I don't know what they want me to do. Ah, now I can click here. For some reason, I couldn't do it before. Renovate the inn. There you go. Due to the bland wedding, you need to expand the main hall, get new furniture. I got all the doll oh, claim. I just need to click here. Boom! Got the monies. Cool. Hmm, so far I'm liking this game. Oh, was it a rat I saw? You uh. handled everything very well. And so, since you're an adult now, I would like to give this int over to you. From now on, you will be managing it. Martin, thank you. I'm so happy. Skill raised, passion, skill raised, oratory. Yeah, I think I did a very good voiceover for the guy. I think I did good. What do we do? Oratory, very easy. Relationship with Martin Titans. 90%, 90, 90%, 95%, passion, very easy. Wisdom, very easy. Okay, so, yeah. Please, strongly, that my words come straight from my heart. No obstacle will stand in my way. Passion. Heavens, keep talking like that and people will follow you anywhere. I'm sure you will become a great innkeeper. Oh my. Alright, pats me on my shoulder. Uncle, you're overreacting. First things first, you will never know for sure that a given technique will work. The more you use it, the more effective it will become, regardless of whether it was successful or not. Obviously, the more I practice, the better I get, but it's never a certain success. Got it. Alright, so when will you let me talk to someone else? Oh, who's this da? Who's this dude? This place is so boring, it hurts. It's not boring. I run it. Well met, innkeeper. I've heard that you're expanding the main hall. That can only mean one thing. You've convinced the miller to have his son's wedding at your place. And if that's the case, you will need alcohol. How many barrels of wine should I get you? Hmm. <laughs> yeah, the options are funny. Don't think we'll be buying any from you. Who wouldn't write mine? Wants to drink that piss you call wine. Alright, let's not be... I mean, this one says negative. This one's positive. Even though we are not buying any. I'm sorry to hear that, but you don't have a choice. Ever since King Orwin died, there are new rules, new laws. I am the only one who regulates trade in Eastern Yorvale. The wine will come from my cellars, or there won't be any wine at all. So what will it be? Relationship Titans. Cannot afford your drinks, but that's 80% success chance. I said we're not buying, so we're not. Get lost, dookie. <laughs> Intimidation. Your wine is at least 20 times overpriced. Even a child would realize that. Alright, let's try that. Oh, it weakens our relationship. I object to this tone. You think just because there are none of my servants around you can treat me like this? Perhaps a fine will teach you respect, and you can't run away from my offer anyway, because no one else will sell you alcohol. I'll make sure of that. Goodbye. God damn it. Apparent dislike, huh? Okay. God damn's Rockberry. How did he manage to get that monopoly? If he truly has exclusivity on trading booze, it'll be really difficult to buy fairly priced alcohol. Why do we care about a childish nobleman? Let's find someone else who'll sell us wine. Yeah. 
Wait, I might have a way. We will need a notice board. I want you to post a message saying, a cuckoo always cuckoos trice. Uh, okay. The birds will bring us booze. Passion, right? Yes, raising my skills. Something like that. And more specifically, the aviary. I used to do business with them. Hmm, I wonder if that still works. Well, there's only one way to find out. Let's get to it. Sweet. Let's go. I put a notice thingy. Well, what is it? This one? Notice board. Where do I put that? Oh, I have to put it within the boundaries of my area, but like maybe outside-ish, right? Okay, we'll put it right here. Righto. Why well, we paused? Oh, so I can move it around. Oh, that's how you move it around. You pause the game to move your shit around. Good, because I need to rearrange the furniture. Because we kind of fucked it up. Mm -hmm. Let's get some more bed um, table thingies. And chair thingies. And because we fucked this up, let's rearrange the furniture. I hope they can get inside. I'm not sure if that works though. I hope they can get inside. This is the right way to do it. They seem really close. Is that too close? Oh, maybe it's supposed to be like this. Because they seem to move together. So maybe this is how it's supposed to go. We just never did it right the first time. You see, they seem to move together. I'm assuming this is the right way to do it. Yeah, okay, so now the, the thing kind of moves together. I'm assuming that's the right way to do it. I'm just not sure, because we're new to this game, right? Okay. Well, stuff is move movable now, so... It seems alright. Let's put this a little bit more centered. So everyone gets good lighting. Okay, so nice solid lighting for everybody. Yeah, we good. Seems alright. Okay, um, hope we unpause. Okay. There you go. Oh wait, we haven't. Did we put the notice yet? Secret note. I put a secret note. Uh, uh huh, uh huh. I think that's that's what we wanted, right? Right? Yeah, I think I think so. Now what? Break up the monopoly. Unlock a new social group in the innkeeper's journal. A new social group, huh? Oh, it's a, it's an upgrade thingy. New type of guest nobles. Oh, there's only one that you can unlock. Outlaws. Guests will start living tips. Alright, cool. Alright. We good. Ching. Now, all we need to do is wait. Waiting is the hardest task of all. I hate waiting. If only we could speed up time. Ha! Who are you? Oh. 
Remy, a cuckoo owes cuckoos trice, and a crow only calls once. Hello, Martin. I've received a message that you need my help. It's about Rockbury, isn't it? Wait, hold on. Who's this kid? Is he? I'm no kid. Last week I turned 18. That changes everything. I'm glad we agree. Have it your way. Let's get down to business. Other innkeepers are also complaining, and I'm trying to stay on top of it, so I know all about your issues. It so happens that I have a barrel of fantastic Ragosan wine, smug uh, imported straight from Sambria. If you can sell it quickly, I'll be able to get you more, perhaps even involve you in a trade on a bigger scale. Mm hmm, that's an outlaw. All right, great, let's do this. Oh, and one more thing, listen up, kid. I'm listening. What we're doing here is not exactly, let's just say that some folks would disapprove of it. Since it's you who'll be in charge, I want to make sure that in a dangerous situation, you are able to, well, say something that isn't exactly the truth or even threaten someone. Hmm. Yeah, sure, we can do all these. All these. 90% for passion though, sure. Boom. Renmi is really impressed by you. Renmi seems glad to be talking to you. Your favor among outlaws increased. What about that wine? Ah, yes, here's a barrel and farewell for now, innkeepers. You received wine time 17. End conversation. ka -ching. All right, so we got our wine sorted out. Sweet. Good for us. If we can distribute this wine, we won't have to pay Rockberry anything. We will... F However, need more workforce. Here's some money for expenses. I need help. Let's begin. First, look around for a caretaker. Caretaker? Yeah, I saw a girl around here recently. Even though she smelled like pipe herds, she seemed proficient. Pipe herds? Yes, to put it bluntly, she smokes like a chimney. Though the smoke is something our clients might dislike. I still feel we should hire her. Proficient? Efficient, resourceful, call it however you want. She simply looked like someone who performs tasks quickly and without slacking off. Hey, what's up, Sweetie? Welcome. Welcome, Sweetie. Alright, I will find her and offer her a job. Great, in the meantime, I will pour the wine into the barrel. Yeah, you do that. Where's that girl? That one? No, it's not a girl. That don't look like a girl. So, homie, oh, we just click here. There you go. Workers! Uh, huh? No, I don't see anybody. Here. Ah, there you go. Tesney. Not sure. Smoker from time to time stops everything they do and smokes a pipe, not really caring about those around. Speedy, you get a little nervous when close to this worker. That's because they're doing everything a little faster. Oh, the wine is in the barrel. Now simply add it to the menu. You've learned a new recipe, mug of table wine. Right, we need wine in the menu. What's the menu? Oh, I haven't hired her yet. I better get that done. All right, here you go. You are speedy. You get a little nervous when close to this worker. That's because you're doing everything a little faster, from cleaning the dishes to taking care of the basic needs. Boom! Got you. Okay, so you What you're, can I do for you? Yeah, you're, you're okay. Before we open in, we could clean up after the renovation. I wanted the caretaker to take care of it. Doesn't have to be rigorous. The faster the better. We want to open up as soon as possible. Make sure the room is clean. Got it. You can select which task of higher or lower priority for your work. It's up to you to decide if the worker should care more about speed, accuracy, or their own comfort. Speed, accuracy, or own comfort, huh? Okay. Um. Ready for anything? I don't know, man. Priority cleaning? Okay. My priority. Alright, let's set up the menu. Uh, bada boom. Table wine. 
light by confirm boom done we're in business <laughs> yeah sweetie yeah I've been busy uh, working on my game things are going well for the game though so we'll start to what see can more I do footage for you? of the game soon Type of guest, outlawed and distressed. Time to make some money. Let's go try to sell all of Renmi's wine. It's going to be around 12 goblets. Get to it. Sell Renmi's wine, alright. Can't claim this one. Yeah, Sweetie, yes, I'm working on a game. Uh, I don't know if I have a link here. Let's see. No, that's not the link. I gotta get me a link. Employee is leveling up. There you go. That's my game. All right, so back to the game. This game. Get the waitress. Oh, cool. We've got people. I live to serve. You do, do ya? Selling that wine. Well, right now the pile of dirty dishes is bigger than the pile of money we were supposed to be making. We could use a dishwasher. A dishwasher? Ha! You would probably want to throw away the dirty mugs and just buy new ones, wouldn't you? Well, maybe in the future, when we're swimming in money. But for now, let's do it my way. Just set up a dishwasher. Dishes. Serving each dish or drink requires clean dishes. That's the life of an innkeeper. So get a dishwasher. Got it. Got it. Got it. Wait, wait, wait. What's that? Fragile. Why is it telling me? Oh, I have to buy a dishwasher? Wait, how's this work? Where's the dishwasher? That looks like a counter. Is that dishwasher? Yeah, there you go. I actually have to buy a dishwasher. <laughs> this is like such a modern tech thingy. Washing dishes should be just a little bucket or something. It's very basic but fully functional washed up. Very well. Let's put it... I don't know, should we put it outside or inside or... Where do the dishes go? I don't know. Well, let's put it in a corner here and see if maybe that's a good spot or not. Oh, there's a door there. I can't put it there. I'm not sure if we're supposed to wash dishes outside. Maybe next to the well. Yeah, so it's easy to get water. Although I have no idea if this is the right way to do it. We will put it. It didn't tell us where to put it, right? It didn't tell us where to put it, so I'm just putting it somewhere. Alright, continue. How we doing guys? We doing good? I'm ready to order! Well, we, be, we, need to, we need to get somebody to do the dishes, right? Oh no, they'll, they'll do it. Looks like they'll just handle that.
There's not enough places to sit. Not enough places to sit? Oh, really? We're sold out? Holy shit. We need to expand. We need to expand the inn. Because business is going so well. More people. More. There you go. Come. Come. We have more places to sit. Come. Tables and chairs for everybody. Probably could use another thingy. I got a message from Remy. He wants to expand our cooperation. He thinks of distributing wine to the whole of Eastern Yorvel. Not only will this guarantee us constant supply, we will also make some money on distribution itself. All we need to do is set up a stash on the first floor so that that leech Rockberry doesn't find out. Stash on the first floor. What's a stash? I'm too old to carry all these barrels myself. There are a lot of drudges in the area. Find one and hire him. A drudge? You know, someone who do the dirty work. A big lad. With muscle. He'll carry the goods. Remove rubble, boulders, fix furniture. Do simple farm work. Hire a drudge. On it. Drudge. Elias the drudge. Workaholic. Drunkard. They hate so much they will not hesitate to steal booze from your storeroom. Oh, brother. What's this unlock trait thingy? Don't know. Didn't seem to do anything. We'll hire him. I saw the blacksmith just a second ago. He was drunk as a skunk coming from the direction of your inn. Where do you get booze for sale? <laughs> Try deception to try to gain some experience. Yeah, let's try deception to gain some experience on deception. Failure, but skill raised deception. You s you haven't bought any wine from me recently. Perhaps a substantial fine would teach you respect for the law. Cheaters never prosper. Rockberry is really disappointed in you. Seems repulsed by your actions. Bloody fines. What? Ah, right. Yes. I'm warning you, innkeeper. Starting today, I'll be performing routine inspections to find illegal liquor. Farewell. Hmm. Alright. So I need to set up a stash. Finally, an ambitious young man for ambitious work. First, tell him to declutter the entrance to the attic. Declutter? A laborer can destroy objects that otherwise cannot be removed, such as rubble, logs, rocks, and bushes. Entrance to the attic. Ooh, so that's what it is. Okay. Yeah, remove that. Where's the guy? There you are. I have two biceps, and both are ready to work. Ricks. Locking the way to the attic. Ooh, what's this? Oh, it's cleaning. No, dude, I want you to remove that. Your employee is leveling up. Oh, he is, huh? You want my money or not? Service, anyone? Is this a self-service inn? Oh, crap. I think we need another server, because... Um, there you go. Let's try another server. Salary. Geralt. It's this gloomy. Special treat. Something sly. Hmm, he looks problematic. No matter if you're cooking or cleaning, always remains cheerful. Okay. Sickly. Yep, that's not good. Solve. Drunk. Um. Difficulty getting your skills. Oh, that's more like it. Now to use our storage room, we need to place some containers in it. A storage shelf and at least two barrels should be enough. Barrels? A 
least a single barrel hold a limited number of good for s of a single type. We need a few of them to install all of Renmi's merchandise. Storage shelf. Wine by itself is not enough for a wedding. We need other products too. We need to store them somewhere. So barrels and storage shelf. Okay, gotcha. Alright, but I need to hire someone first. There you go. How about this guy? All swallowed. Chaotic. Something's good, something's money, something's far from it. Oh, come on. Give me a second, Martin. I almost forgot. We could use a pallet for all those goods. You can ask the drudge to make some room for it next to the inn. A pallet? A pallet? All purchased products will be put on the pallet. If you don't have it, they will be dumped in front of the inn instead. Okay. Make some room. I'll drudge the tough lad. He can easily move a bush or a rock from our backyard. And allow for further expansion. Jesus, man. Okay, you need to pause the game because they keep popping shit up when I'm not done with the previous shit, you know? We're not done yet. Alright, so smoker and slacker. Alright, so smoker is a slacker and he's chaotic. So why the hell am I hiring him? Yeah. This guy is gloomy and sly and tough, but he's cheap. Not so big. Drunkard, dull, lawful. Don't break the law, but we have to. Slacker. Okay, so she's got a lot of problems. Maybe Flavio. He's cheerful, although he's sickly. I can live with that. Alright, we'll pick him up. Oh, anyway, these are different. The two of them are servants, two of them are drudges, so it's not like I can put them in the the right spot. Okay, so what we needed to do was... Um, wait, how do I look upstairs? Is there an up-level thingy? Um, not that I know of. How do we like scroll up a floor? I don't know how to do that. How do we go upstairs? So they kind of skimped on telling us how to do that. Alright, in any case, they said something about clearing the backyard or something. Was this place? Is that an outhouse? Um, I guess. What's that? Remove rocks. I can't remove the bushes, but I can remove the rocks. Okay. Um, barrels. And that. Okay, so I need to build pallets, right? They're saying, like, get some pallets or something. That's a pallet. Need one if you don't want your supplies and just drop off goods wherever. Alright, so we'll put it here ish. That seems okay. Okay, and uh, we need some barrels and a storage shelf, but how do I go up? Dang it. Right, how, how do we go upstairs? That's not doing it. Ah, this is it. Ah, there you go. Okay, now we got it, now we got it. So, we want barrels. Simple barrel. Okay, uh, and then a shelf, right? This one. Okay. They said at least two barrels, but we'll put three. It's not expensive anyway. Okay, that should do it. Awesome. Yeah, the symbols aren't really that obvious. Okay, we want some more lights. That'll probably be nice. Okay, good. Continue. There you go, people. Great, we're ready. All we need to do now is get the wine. You can find Renmi's camp on the edge of the old forest. 
right next to the border with Sambria. Here is the rest of the advance payment for the wedding. A camp? You can trade for goods in a few spots on the map. Cities, marketplaces, ports and so on. These we will buy in the bandit camp. Okay, dokie. Find a camp or the wine. So... What can I do for you?
Oh, I might be muted. My bad. My bad. Okay, we're back. So, yeah. So, I, I think we're getting some really bad reviews. Really bad reviews because they waited too long. Because all our people aren't working. They're just bums. Come on, bums. Yeah, the IK on that. Mm, not the greatest, but oh well. It's a mini game. Can't expect too much. <gasps> oh, look at that. All oh, my wine's out here. Oh, boys. Pack it up, quick. Before the bad guy comes and finds it. Uh oh, who's this dude? Oh no, is he bad it's guy? It's already <sighs> been five minutes since I had a drink. How awful. What a pleasure it is to see you again. An honest innkeeper would never do such an honorable thing. Mm. Ooh, this is hard. That's hard too. Deception is also hard. Passion is the best chance we have. <laughs> He's really impressed with us. Yay! Cool, cool. Alright, so we got by. We're friends! We're friends. Quickly, haul all that wine up before we get caught. Maybe I need another, like, another drudge guy. Oop. Alright, where did I go? Come on. Brave. Magic demands. Your employee is leveling up. Welcome. Welcome. This a, life a turned level up out skills. not to be so bad. No, it doesn't look like there's any level up skills. <laughs> Job screwed. Two hours. Tightness minus seven. Three guys doing the job now. Your patrons so. say your inn is dirty. My inn is dirty? Oh shit. to fuck it. Let's just hire another guy. Alright, so we hired a lot of people. <laughs> Hopefully that'll improve our service. Plus we can probably start ordering some more wine. Let's go order some more wine. Or maybe least favorite, we'll see. Ah, well, it's a pleasure to see you again. Uh, someone's selling or smelling alcohol? Oh shit, deception is hard. Everything is hard. Let's try deception again. <laughs> Failed! Oh crap. Pay a fine again? Don't know, but he's here. 
12 hours left. Smuggle 187 portions of wine. Well, he's here. I guess we'll just keep ordering wine because I think we're supposed to do it. Yeah, we're supposed to do it. We're supposed to order as much wine as we can or something. I, I got a lot of dudes working. Maybe I need another guy. Alright, we'll take you as well. Maybe we need another servant. Smart and lazy. It's a smart slacker. Gloomy? Oh, that's not good. Wait, do we need a. Uh... Nah, we have no servants. We have enough servants, we have lots of servants. What is this thing? Getting... Ooh, we're losing a lot of money. Then again, we're buying tons and tons of loads of wines. Yeah, look at all those drudges working. Move that ass! Move that ass! Does anyone even work here? Hey, lady! Take my order! They are not cleaning, though. High priority. I live to oh, sell. I know what I do. Maybe one of them needs to be. You like, don't have enough mugs. Your specialized can't drink. Cleaning. Okay, so let's make, maybe we'll specify high priority cleaning. <laughs> yeah, because nobody's cleaning. Nobody's focusing on cleaning, so we're getting some bad reviews. I don't have enough mugs, my my guy's country. Okay, I need to order some mugs as well. Mugs, mugs, mugs. Here we go. Got some mugs. Oh, I know why, because someone isn't washing. This uh, life turned out uh, you not to be on. so bad. Washing. Oh, kitchen work, kitchen work, is it? Is it kitchen work? Is it washing? I don't know, I'll, I'll get cleaning and kitchen work up. Maybe he'll do it. No, wait, cleaning is the other thing, isn't it? It's probably, it's probably kitchen work. What's in keeping? I don't know. Maybe he should do that too. <laughs> I have no idea. We seem to be doing good, don't we? Yeah, but nobody is cleaning. That that like mugs probably need to get washed, which is why we don't have enough. My God, look at the filth. Oh. Yeah. Uh huh. But look. She's waving it. What's she doing? Your reputation is improving. You're supposed to clean. Why are you just like waiting? Where's this? Where's this time symbol? Time for a break? <gasps> oh, bummers. You guys and your slacking. Come on, clean the place up. A lot of activity. Uh oh, he's here again. Shit. Oh crap. Yeah, he's gonna find all that wine. Well, 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 innkeeper, we meet again. Alright, how do we chase him off this time? Ashen! Success! Yay! Got rid of him. Looks like time to order some more wine. We're running out of money though. But I think the story is we're supposed to get lots of wine, so we will. We will order lots of wine. We'll follow the story. One hour left. Smuggled four hundred million portions of wine. What's the sound of it? I do not know. It's some scratchy sound. 
So, how do you like the smuggling business, my dream keepers? No big deal, smuggle an ocean without going right under rock for his nose. Well, not bad, as I'm trained to become a professional smuggler. Not to stay between us, but we've had a similar deal with some of the other keepers in the area. Because of that, we literally flooded rock for you from wine. Here's a reward for your efforts. Your favorite one of those interests? Sweet. Let's talk about the money. Of course you've earned yourself a bunch of points. 800 buildings. Pleasure working with the area. Pure pleasure. Farewell, Innkeeper. Perhaps we'll have an opportunity to work together again soon. Alright, what's that scratchy sound, man? You don't have enough mugs. Your guests Very can't annoying. drink. Very annoying scratchy sound. Good work. Not only do we do our jobs, we almost bankrupted Rockford. I'm sure he won't be bothering us anymore. And since we can buy booze with ease now, we can finish the wedding preparations. Oh, by the way, I have something that you might find useful. It's my old cook. Inside, we've got five tested recipes that can be used for the wedding. I'll pick something. Wedding, what wedding? You didn't forget which one the wedding part, did you? Sure. You need a high kitchen hand, order some cooking ingredients and decorate the inn. Yeah, sure, I need a tutorial. It's not my hand to cook. Unfortunately, our inn is small, so no one with renown would want to work for us. For now, it's just how to stand the kitchen hand. I don't really know where to find the office. I sure do. Kitchen hand. Benito. Mussolini. He's lazy, he's a slacker, and he's tough. You don't have enough logs. Your guests can't drink. Yeah, but why are we not having enough logs? Great, add two dishes to our menu. For the wedding, we're expecting members of two different social groups, outlaws and distressed. Either try to clean both or focus on one. I'm sure they will appreciate it. Two different social groups. The bride is the daughter of an outlaw chief, and the groom is the son of a local mayor. It's up to you to decide whose family and friends will enjoy our dishes and decor more. Often, it's not to try and please everyone. Sometimes, you might want to focus on them. Alright, so outlaws and, uh, niggas. Sure. Add two dishes to the menu and decide the food to pay for fun. Okay. Um, two dishes to the menu. Barbarians. You don't have enough logs. Like Your outlaws. guests can't drink. Tell me what it is, but they look like mealers. The grilled sausage looks simple. Alright, so we'll add grilled sausage. We need sausages and onions. Sausages and onions we need. And then we'll roast barbarian stew. Breaded something. This bread soup seems like it, so we'll go ahead and add bread soup. And I guess we need to order it. Oh, I've seen children some recipes already. Now check what sort of kitchen you need to grab those dishes and then order it for the inn. Remember to install a wood hole in your bar. Why do put on this? Turn one of the existing rooms into a kitchen room. I'll build a new one. It's a new one. I'm going to You need fuel to cook. Place the wood holder as close to the stove as possible. Kitchen room and wood hole. Got it. Hey, what's up, Fire for Effect? Welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Alright, so I need to pause for a second. This this game like speeds along really quick and then we are in a mess right now. The place is just covered in filth. It's covered in filth, people not taking orders, people's not people not cleaning. Not cleaning enough. Is it cleaning? I wish there were more mouse over indicators because I really don't know. So anyway, we need a cauldron, an oven, a grill, a bit to a So, kitchen, kitchen, huh? Alright, let's build a kitchen. There's no space. Um, where do we put the kitchen? How about here? Let's expand. Oh, it's not letting this expand, is it? Yeah, I can't. Oh, can I maybe? Oh, there you go, you can. Yeah, it's, it's alright. 
Yeah, so we put the kitchen like behind, maybe behind here, this, or here, you know, either way is fine. Oh shit, it's so expensive. How expensive that stuff is. Are we gonna be broke? Let's see. A fire holder, right? A wood holder. Okay, where's the cooking thing? Fire holder. Simple holder. How about simple holder? Simple holder. Sounds good. And then I need a wood holder. Okay, and then what else do we need to cook? That's it, right? Set up for the What do you do? Nah, I don't cash anyway. Okay, so we're broke. We can't do that. Uh, I had a cook, so we're good. Did I burn? Yeah, no, it's a little bit of Alright, we got some cash. Cool. Try to get some wood and plates. Show me this from new local towns. Goods of different prices, depending on where you buy them. The difference won't be as big as the Renly and Rockbury of the fall. Still should be taken into consideration. Order wood with other goods or ask the drudge to break some tanks lying outside the game. You pay for transportation? Even if some goods cost more, it's worth ordering multiple ones in the same location because that cuts down the transportation costs. Okay. Wood, plates, and. Yeah, we're good. Let's pause. Because it What's that scratchy sound? Jesus. Okay, let's save and reload and see if that helps. Okay. Let's reload because it's making some really annoying scratchy sounds, right? You guys hear it? And we are back! Alright, let's load our game. Alright, scratchy audio is gone. Okay. Pause and uh, order some food. Do real. Bread is 50. Let's check bread first. 49. 48, 52, 54, whoa, 108, super expensive, and they don't even sell bread, okay, so we need bread, we'll buy it from here, what's this plus sign? Send your cook to learn new recipe. Oh, I see. No, we don't need that. All right, so transportation cost is a hundred. I've got a thousand, but we're not very rich. That's for sure. Okay, we'll buy 10 of that. Okay, and then we need to buy Sausages, right? Oh, is it? Was it onions? Let me check the recipe. Oh, so, okay. We had the bread one, so bread, water, and sausage. Okay, so we'll do sausage. Sausage. You don't have. You have onions. No sausage.
Do we have to make our own sausages? Hey, what's up, and Lightning? Welcome. What's up is we are making good progress on our game. Good progress. Ah, there you go. Wow, 134 for sausages. Holy crap. All right, so it's super duper expensive if we want to buy sausages. Let's check out other places. 207, even more expensive. Oh crap. Uh, 183 is so expensive. Alright, so. Oh well. The cheaper places don't have sausages. So we'll have to buy it from Bandit Camp, which is super expensive. Yeah. We're very, very poor at the moment, so. Yeah, I guess that's all we can afford. Okay, best we can do. You're still waiting, but but we're good. You don't have enough mugs. <laughs> Your guests can't drink. I have two biceps, and both are ready to work. I'll clean it right now. This is my cook, so we'll just have him cook. Don't do the other stuff. Just cook. That's what we hired you for. Dishwashing. Don't do that. Oh, we didn't buy wood! Fuck. Okay, so we can't... We can't cook because we don't have wood. Okay, so how do I break up planks? Is that breakable? Yeah, maybe maybe it's breakable. I have no idea what these things are. But maybe we can break them up into... I don't know, breakable things? Maybe. Just maybe. Just maybe we can get that done. Select furniture menu, place a barrel. Wait, we've done that. We don't need this. Oh, it's it's just showing us the old stuff, All right? And I'm not much transport with supplies arrive. Ah, yeah, yeah, okay. So we're missing we're missing food right now. Um, not not food. Um, wood. Wood is what we're missing right now. Without wood, we cannot cook. I think. What's going on? Okay, there you go. Self service in. Man, these people are demanding. There's too little food to feed all the patrons. <laughs> well, that's because we have no freaking wood. We forgot about the wood. So I was hoping these things could be like broken into firewood or something. Yeah, yeah. What's the simple crate? Oh, it's a storage crate. It's got candles in it. Well, that means it probably won't do anything. This one's got water in it. Okay. Hmm. All right, we're pretty screwed. When do we can get some wood? Let me buy wood anyway. Ah, 10 for wood. This place. don't have proper equipment to store some of the resources. I sure don't. Um, but I need wood. Okay, guess this is the bandit camp then. We will buy wood. There's too little food to feed all the patrons. Oh, 
<laughs> your patrons say your inn is too dark. It's too dark? What? Well, I have no money to buy another candelabra, so it's too bad. Yeah, I bought a, I bought a, I mean, I hired a, your employee a is cook, leveling up. and uh, he's a dishwasher now. <laughs> My cook is now the dishwasher. You look pretty drunk. Get the waitress! Goddamn drunks. Test me level up. Cool. Your employee you is leveling up. Proper equipment to store some of the resources. Wood. I don't have a storage place for wood, but I do. It's right here. What you talking about, mate? That's. That's a wood storage thing. It says wood holder. What's wrong with this? <laughs> Unlock? Oh, I lo it's unlocked, right? People should be able to go inside. I have no freaking idea what's going on right now. I have wood, right? So what the heck is going on? I have wood, I have a wood holder. I, I don't know what's going on. Yeah, but it's got no wood on it. That's the thing, it's it's got it's a wood holder but it has no wood in it. It's got no wood. Firewood, yeah, it says firewood, but it's got nothing. Perfect for holding wood. But I've got no wood in it. God damn. I have no idea what's going on. This one says lock, right? If you click it, it locks it. So it should be unlocked then. Which means we should be able to go inside. I don't know what's going on. Your patrons say your inn is too dark. We're running into trouble. We can't. We're trouble. Oh no, save us. Hey, what's up, Suiki? No, I didn't go game over, but we're about to game over, I think. I can't figure out how to use the damn wood. I don't know how to use wood. We have storage. You see, this these other things are storing, you know, like wine or uh, mostly wine. Yeah, I think everything is storing wine. We have a lot of wine. And then we have some mugs and there's a sausage and whatever that is. I don't know what that is. I think those are mugs as well. Yeah, these are all mugs. Mugs and wine. And then there is... Oh, nothing. Oh, yeah, the bread here. Okay, so there's bread and sausages. And mugs. And I can't seem to get access to this room. Let me try clicking that. See if that works. Did that work? Are they going inside now? Ah, oh, frick. I don't know, man. Nobody's going inside. What the heck is wrong with this place? Alright, you know what? Um, let's try... Can I move this thing though? It's paused, right? Can I transport it? Uh, what is... Yeah, there you go. Nah, not that one. Can I move it? There was a moving option too. Yeah, see, it doesn't record wood as the resources I have. Weird. I need to buy a wood block for it so I can cut it to use. I, I have a, a wood holder, so I need a wood block outside. Is that it? Okay. Okay, so I, I need to buy something to chop the wood up. Ah, chopping stump. Okay, chopping stump. Okay, alright, cool. And then I probably need to unlock that door again. Yeah, okay. Alright, please chop some wood, thank you very much. One of the drudges, right? We get one of the drudgy guys. How about you? 
Yeah, yeah. What about you? You can... Carpentry? I don't know what's carpentry, but manual work. Manual work for sure. Maybe don't do so much carrying. Oh, everyone seems to be having a little party what here. What can I do for you? We need to decorate the main hall. Check out the available decors and pick something. Remember, each group of guests will like different things. Decorations. These decorations do not serve any specific purpose, but they might make a guest feel at home in our inn. What do they like? No idea, to be honest. Maybe weapons? Anything that will make our establishment look fierce. Chains, skulls, they also won't like it if there's too much light in the inn. Distressed. Well, they're simple country folks, so a lot of flowers definitely won't hurt. Perhaps some farming equipment, stuff like that. I'll decorate the inn. Okay, so they want us to decorate. So the outlaws like fierce stuff, and then the other guys like some other stuff. We're kind of poor though, so we might need to wait a bit until we aren't so broke. You can buy two shields and hang them on the walls for now. How do we put this thing there? Doesn't seem to fit. How do you use this? Don't know. Never mind, we're kind of poor anyway, so... <laughs> We'll come back to that when we are not so broke. Flower covered barrels. Your patrons say your inn is dirty. <laughs> All right. So, are we putting wood there yet? This guy, he's just going there to, to wait. What the heck? Come on, guys, start freaking cooking. God damn. I got a lot of bums sitting around. Maybe I should fire them. You useless scumbags. Go to work, damn it. There's too little food to feed all the patrons. No shit. That's cause we don't have any firewood. Nobody's chopping it. Come on, you bum. Get to work. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that sure doesn't look like how you would swing an axe, but whatever. Biggest issue you found the game so far is to keep the inn clean. People are lazy as hell. Yeah, I get that issue as well. Nobody's cleaning, man. I have a guy set up to just do cleaning and they're not really this doing it. This is a tough life. Let me just set this guy up to clean. Maybe set up so he doesn't do anything else, just cleans. Yeah, just clean. Just don't do anything else. Just clean. And just keep cleaning. I might need more of these. How much wood can we take? Storage 1 times 40. I think that's plenty. Yeah? I think that's plenty. Get ready to order. Let's make this guy like. Do this one's on the house! In keeping. Like, Your employee keep is leveling up! In keeping and maybe some kitchen work or something. Your patrons say your inn is too dark. <laughs> your employee is leveling up. Now where's my cooking guy? That's I'll clean it right now. But you don't. Yeah, why are you not? You're not cooking. You're supposed to do cooking and kitchen work. Come on, man. Get, get going, man. That's what paid you for. Goddamn bums. Yeah, yeah. 
Okay, yeah, we got this guy cleaning. He's doing nothing but cleaning, so he can't do anything else. So he has to clean. He has to clean. He's got no job. No other job. Come on, bums, to work. In his too dark empty room. Oh, here, I see. It's really expensive. Lights are super expensive. Can I get something cheaper? Shit. No, there's nothing cheaper. So I can't really afford it right now. Damn, lights are so expensive. The boy's gonna be just fine. Turns out he you actually don't have enough plates. Doesn't Your guests have anything can't else to eat. Do. Oh, we don't have plates. Oh fuck. <laughs> Buy plates. You sell plates? Uh, yeah, they do sell plates. Hundred and four. Holy shit. Wow. I mean, wish they told us in advance. Maybe they did. <laughs> shit. All right, plates. Plates are a bit expensive. God damn. 99, okay, this looks cheaper. Um, 91, oh, looks like Rockberry is selling it at a cheaper price. 88, okay, we're, we're getting we're getting good now. Where else is there? Plates, plates, plates. Nah, that's it, that's it. Plates. Okay, so this place sells them cheap. You don't have enough plates. Your guests can't eat. Okay, all right. Come along then. Bring those plates so we can actually. Your employee eat. is leveling up. Well, at least the the one guy that's only doing cleaning is cleaning quite a bit. I would think he is. Yeah, you don't have proper equipment okay, so to store some of the resources. Still filthy. Filthy. You don't have enough plates. Your guests can't eat. Oh yeah, my plates are coming. We ordered it. It's coming. Just hang in there. My plates are on the way. some food. I'm not sure why she had to go all the way up to get food though. Seems like something you could do from down here, right? Anyway, the plates must be here. Yeah, there you go. The plates are here. So, people are getting food now. Sweet. Feed them. Feed them all. I had so many random bums. Oh man. But we are doing okay. What? What? What just happened? Obtain plates. Yeah, there you go. We know we have plates. Where's 
Where's my cooking guy? Do we do we run out of ingredients or something? Where is the like overall inventory thing? Decorate serve food in the inn. There was an overall like supplies thingy. What's this? Okay, I don't have enough. But I have enough of this grilled sausage. Oh, I just need onions. Once I buy some onions, we can serve grilled sausage as well. to wait not long not long where's my man yeah all right i'm not too old for this yeah, shit maybe but i'm getting close Try not to do the other things waiting tables and innkeeping yeah that's all you do don't do kitchen work that's it that's all you do maybe he shouldn't be in uh, waiting tables because we have waitresses for that don't we? I'm There's not too old there. for this shit, but I'm getting close. Yeah, so do innkeeping, high priority, and then the other stuff. Ready for editing? Ah, uh -huh. Sonia. All right, so wait tables. Are you a gossiper or something? Persuasive. Lazy. Smart. Okay, so you don't clean. Don't do innkeeping. Maybe don't gossip. Just wait tables and do room services. Because she's a room servicer, right? <laughs> there we go. Beat me. Yeah, let's get cooking, man. Let's get cooking. Bread, candles, all that good stuff. Just like the the slackers room, everybody's coming in here to slack. We have enough money to put some lights now. Yeah, so let's do it. There you go, all lit up. How are we looking? Fantastic, look at it. The inn is clean. Kind of, I mean, a little patchy here, a little patchy here, but yeah, overall, we're doing good. So you kind of need to disable all his other jobs. Make sure that the only thing he's doing is cleaning, and then he will clean. So if you don't have lots of cleaning, it's not so good. We probably need a second guy doing just cleaning as well because it seems like we're almost unable to keep up with the filth. So maybe set up a second guy that only does cleaning. Kind of. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, all right, so you clean as well. guys doing the cleaning that should help. What are these guys doing here? <laughs> what can I do for you? Oh you're cleaning. Nah. Don't clean. Wait tables. Where are you, gossiper? Slacker, lawful, dull, drunkard. Alright, so you're not really good at gossiping, so don't do that. Yeah, 
something like that. Yeah, let's make sure we wait tables. Till we get a bit more money. Because the ordering is not very efficient when you order small quantities. So I'm sure we can get it to work. What a mess though. What a mess. This one's on the house. He's not even set up to cook. He went in and cooked anyway. What's this? <laughs> Prioritize cleaning. High priority. It works and that's about all that can be said about this culture. <laughs> oh, do I have to set up stuff? Nope, there's none in the queue. Red soup. The Your employee is, is leveling up. Alright, who's got some onions for me? 50. 49. has been the cheapest so far. Yep, 49 is the cheapest. That should do it for a bit. Alright, so now we have enough food to serve two dishes to please two sets of people. And then we're gonna need decorations, right? Oh, look at this place, it's looking so clean now. Yeah, so if you set them up right, you can clean. I mean, I played a lot of RimWorld, so I am familiar with this finite state machine style of AI that's not too great, but it's good enough. So why are these guys doing the cooking? They're the not boy's even, gonna be just They're not even set up to cook. Kitchen work is just able. For some reason they are still allowed to cook. I don't know how this stuff works. I really don't. We seem to be doing good though. Yeah, here comes the onions, right? Alright, so shall we put the foodie stuff yeah, here? I mean, I need to store it here so that the, the cooks have easy access to it, rather than having a little storeroom every time. Huge loss of efficiency, yeah. So we have a guy Benito that we assigned as a chef. He's not cooking. 
Well, most of the time he's not cooking. This is a tough night. This is Elias. He's got some kitchen work. Shouldn't be doing it though. Unless we get desperate, of course. Stolen family heirloom. Don't know. Well, maybe we have to do the rest of the story stuff before we can get to it. We'll get to it, we'll get to it. Looks dull. Yeah, I yeah, know. Yeah. We need a bit of money. to when we first started it was filthy everywhere now we only have two people doing cleaning but they kind of prioritized on it your employee is leveling up We need some sausages soon. Sausages are running out. Twelve left. All right, still enough. Still Your enough. Your employee okay. is leveling up. So we can probably do the furniture now. The furniture thingy. Oh, that's why we couldn't place it. It was facing the wrong side. Okay, this is okay. Other stuff, or maybe one more of these. And um, what's that? Flower festoon. Fire, good. We like fire. More service to wait tables. I think we have like two guys like focusing on waiting tables. But then again, this is like <laughs> it's hard to do. Again, but we, we will please one faction at least. Yeah, we've got some some shields and some chains hung up. So new quest for adventurers is big, but but we don't know how to do it, do we? What's this anyway? Idea how to do this stuff. Kidnap the fiance. Lady in distress. Oh, I have no adventurers. I need to have adventurers, then I can send them out on these. Uh... Yeah, I don't have enough candles to light up the inn. Daylight robbery. Ninety nine, still freaking expensive. Ninety eight, still too expensive. Ninety seven. All right, ninety seven is the best we got. All right, we'll wait a bit. No, oh, can we? Can we wait a bit? Can we afford to wait a bit? Do we get a bit more money? And then we'll buy the candles. Cashflow's not doing so good. We don't even have that many people in our inn. It's like we lost popularity. Where's that Benito guy I hired to cook anyway? Did he like leave or something? He's definitely not here, right? 
I have two biceps, no, and both are ready to work. Workers. There you go. You are supposed to cook. Cooking, yeah? You don't do kitchen work, just, just cook. That's all you do. That's all you do, and that's all you've got to do. Can you do it? I don't know why all the waitresses are doing the cooking when I have a bloody chef. Yeah, I'll clean it chef. right now. You're the bloody chef. To work. It seems like we sorted out most of the management issues. The, the inn is very, very clean now. Relatively speaking, yeah, it's very clean. Um, waitresses are serving them, but they are not happy anyway. They don't seem to be very happy. Maybe need more waitresses. I live to serve. But they are waiting tables. Overall list. <laughs> yeah, you're all waiting to see this. You are clean. Yarl, you just do clean. Tables. And, uh, don't Are you a gossiper? I, I know I had one girl that. Yeah, there you go, you're a gossiper. They stop working and get it. Okay, so you can gossip. Your employee is leveling up. Okay, so I can afford to buy some candles now. Let's go pick some candles up. Okay, got some candles. Cool. Oh, we still did have candles. We still did. Doesn't matter, we picked up a whole bunch. We're good on candles now. Hmm, the filth is starting to pile up. I still have the same two guys working on cleaning. Yeah, looks like there's a bit of strain on the flooring. Maybe I need a third guy doing it. Alright, so if you've got nothing to do... On it! If you've got nothing to do... Oh wait, you're the cook. Alright, I'll let you do kitchen work as well. Because for whatever reason, I someone else sell. is doing it. Why are you cooking? Okay, so you will wait. Persuasive? Is that it? No, this is drunkard. And then persuasive. Alright, so... Pers 
evasive, probably do lip service. I don't know if we're doing well, but we're at least surviving. So the outlaws don't like us very much, but the distressed love us. So we need to focus on making the outlaws happy. We already put these things up. These are designed for outlaws. Okay, more decor for the never looked better. I think we can let the bride and groom know we're ready. So, are we gonna start the party? Yeah, let's get the party started. Mm. Let's have a wedding. You guys want to have a wedding in the kitchen? Sure, if that's what you want. <laughs> Make them as much fun as possible. Don't be afraid to talk to them. All right. Uh, oh, okay, so don't mess with the decorations. Sure. Hello, innkeeper. Long time no see. Can't help but notice our wine is serving a high purpose. Love. How do you like the wine? Same as always, maybe a little bit more. Who would have thought that this business would be so beneficial? Cool. Where did the name Avery Ring come from? The name of our organization comes from the dim distant past. We meet up on rooftops of Yorville, Skeleton City, and scout for potential victims. Nowadays, we still do that, but as you already know, we're also no strangers to more grounded and ground level jobs. Your Vale's capital city. Your Vale's capital is the city of Ori. That's where the headquarters of the Avery are. You're not very good at basic geography, are you? And you just tell anyone where your secret headquarters are located? Uh oh. <laughs> None of your business, kid. I don't care what Martin says about you. I don't trust you enough. Alright. How have you been doing? Not good time for the Avery, why is that? Oh shit, none of my business, oh fuck. Okay, so he doesn't like us. Yikes. What's this? Special treat. Kick out watch. So, how do you like the wedding? Happiest day of your life, huh? Everything's perfectly organized if you ask me. What do you like the most? Contents of the menu. I was just wondering if I should order another dish or maybe more alcohol. I better do both. Beautiful dress. You think so? That's so nice. My mother was insisting I wear a fancy dress. Looted, of course, during a robbery. But I wanted a true country folk wedding. So this is the dress I chose. My paramour wasn't so fortunate. Wasn't so fortunate? Despite my protest, my mother forced him to wear a very fancy coat she got. God knows where. But I must admit, he looks very dignified in it. Okay. As long as you're happy. A stately woman detaches herself from a group of guests and approaches you. Well met, innkeeper. Are you the one responsible for organizing my daughter's wedding? Your daughter looks stunning. 
That's obvious, she takes after me, unless you mean that rag she's wearing. I tried to convince her to wear something that indicates her status, but she's stubborn. She's running around shoeless and she's happy, but it's her day, so she can do whatever she wants. I hope everything is to your liking. Yes, indeed, exactly how I envisioned it. Tasteful but fierce. Let's get the your card. reputation is improving! Yay, favor among all boys increased. Your inn's fame rises. I receive 500 gold rewards. What about you? Suddenly, a smartly dressed, albeit, albeit rather drunk man bumps into you. It takes you a moment to recognize your benefactor, the groom's father. Hello, innkeeper. Are you the one responsible for this party? What a classy outfit. I'm not used to parading around in such costly clothes, but the bride's madam gifted them to me. I mean, lent. Just for this occasion, so... I'm thinking about your son's beloved. Such a nice girl, very kind. Her mother scares me a little though. How do you like the wedding? Don't even try to joke! Why are these abominations hanging on the wall? This was supposed to be a decent country wedding. Where are the colorful festoons? Where are the flower bouquets? Sorry, you did that. Oh, so he didn't like us because we didn't put any flower festoons up. <laughs> well, there's only so much money to go around. A young man, more or less your age, approaches you and smiles. Hello, innkeeper. Just wanted to quickly thank you on behalf of me and my beloved new wife. You did great. At first glance, I could have sworn that some nobleman was getting married in my inn. Well, my new mother in law insisted on this outfit. I agreed immediately, despite her daughter's protest. Through this, my lovely mother in law scares me a little bit. Either way, I think that my, overall, my betrothed likes me in this attire, regardless of what you're saying. Son of a miller and daughter of an outlaw. How did this happen? One day, while walking through the forest, I was ambushed and kidnapped by a gang. In their camp, they realized that I was nothing valuable on me. I have nothing valuable on me. So everyone lost interest except for one person, from whom it was me who had stolen something. Well, you stole her heart. Her heart? Thought it was obvious. Yeah, it was obvious, but I had to click it anyway. <laughs> what was your opinion on these outlaws? Very resourceful people, not as nasty as one would expect. Especially one of them is quite pleasant to look at. Hmm. Well, enjoy. Is that it? Yep, we talked to everybody. Nope, wait, one more. What okay. can I do for you? Oh, is it? Wait a second. Your employee is leveling it's upstairs. up. It's upstairs. It's upstairs. There you are. Wait, can't click you. There's not enough places to sit. I can't click you. Ah, oh, there you go. A happy man in a feathered outfit greets you with a smile. Salutations, innkeeper. Redmi told me a little bit about you. The aviary is grateful for your help. And what a great party this is. How do you like the wine? Very much so. Renmi's idea to enter this wine business was fantastic. I'm glad we got you involved in it too. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't be here today, having all this fun. How did the area get its name? How would I know? Maybe because there's birdies like to hang, walk on roofs, watch people from above. People say many different things. Renmi brought you here? One thing you must know about me, Innkeeper, is that I always show up wherever there's a mention of a party. And or large amounts of wine. Especially if my old pal Radmi is going to be there too. Keep having fun then. Yep, that about it. That about it. We talk to everybody. Yeah, we good, yes. We good. There's not enough places uh -oh. to sit. Uh oh, what's this dude doing here? You! You think I don't know what you did. You'll pay for this. For everything. What in the heavens are you talking about, Rockbury? You've imported all that wine from Sambria and destroyed my business. Die in flames, you worms. Rockbury, no. Oh, he's gonna set fire? <sighs> he's burned our... our... our inn. You... Best. My family owns the biggest vineyard in Norway. <laughs> Rockberry went mad. When Martin got to them, it was already too late. A torch he'd tossed landed on the roof. The building went up in flames in an instant. Then, during the struggle, Martin's bandage slid off of his arm, revealing a tattoo. A tattoo that would lead up to a series of unexpected events. Meanwhile, the fire that was consuming the inn 
spread onto the nearby buildings and the vineyard that belonged to Rockbury himself. Terrified, the Duke stood and watched the aftermath of his actions. His senseless revenge was devouring his family's estate right before his eyes. It was the end of him. But it was also the end of the simple life Martin and his nephew had been living on the land belonging to the Duke. Old innkeeper knew that if they were to be safe, they needed to find a new home. Hmm. Hmm. So, starting all over again. Fantastic. You don't have proper equipment to stop. Wait a moment. Western outskirts of Crossroads, by the old oak tree. This must be the place. That bastard merchant said there'll be a house here. We've been scammed, boy. What? Have we been scammed? Ooh, the odds are not good either way. Relax, Martin. We'll figure something out. The important thing is we managed to escape our lives thanks to you. Failed. I'm being serious, boy. I messed up. That being said, I guess we could build ourselves a new inn, right? Right here. Martin's about to explode. A new inn, bigger, finer, finer than all the land, in fact. Well, it's nice to dream and all, but without money, dreaming is just about all we can do. Not to worry, boy. We'll take a loan. All right, it sounds like a plan. I'm marking on your map the closest bank. Go there and get us some money. Okay. That's the closest bank. Loan of your veil. Return in 20 days. Very well. Alright. We have taken us a loan, and now some of the resources. Yes. Now what? <laughs> my inn's fame rises. I have no inn, and then I gotta pay my debt soon. So we better start building. Start building. Yeah, good thing we took maximum amount of money because it looks like it's not going to be easy at all. It costs so much just to build the flat walls. We'll just go with a single room. See if that's good. Single large room should be nice. Then we need some doors and such as well. What kind of doors are good? Oh, it makes no difference. They're all the same. Alright, we'll have that fancy looking door then. Oh, we can't double door it. Okay. So I guess we'll put the another room in the back and this will be like our you know back door area where they do all the cleaning and other stuff. Uh, okay, alright. Now what? Windows? Yeah, we we never had windows. But some fine windows. are done. Mm, I'm not sure if I want to build an attic. Maybe we need one, I don't know. Oh, it's a thousand bucks. Shit, maybe not, maybe not. We'll just go with a single... There's a guest room. Sleeping, baking beds. We gotta, we gotta focus on what we absolutely have to have. 
So, do we need a notice board? Penalties, notices, tons of adverts. No, I don't think so. So if we don't do that thing, then we should probably like set up a counter right in the center. Or maybe not center, but like here-ish. Everybody will kind of walk here to be served. space here. You could just cut and paste these. <laughs> I would like to duplicate these for convenience. I don't think you can do that though. to oven whenever you need to oven something. Rather fast. Bad quality, minus one. Risky, minus one. Not that bad. This one has bad quality, minus one. Fancy. Risky. Maybe this, like, oven right in the center where everything would be, would be okay. We could put one facing this way, one facing the other way, and then we can cook real quick. Yeah. Low risk as well. Maybe we just need like one. Alright, we can put just one here and it save us some money. If we need to, we can put the second one up here. Yeah, we'll just put one up for now. So, uh, limited cash flow. We still need to get like ingredients and shit. enough to light up the inn. Okay, we'll need the wood holder thingy. I hope this doesn't block the door. It might. I'm not so sure. This 
will will this block them? Don't know, can I risk it? Probably not. If I want to put the the oven in here, then there's very little space to go around. It's just very cramped. Oh, I could shift the door a little bit. Yeah, I can do that. Can we? <gasps> no, we can't move the door. It's furniture, right? No. No, it looks like I can't move the door. Damn it. I, I would like to move the door now, but... Oh, how if we just ignore it? We could just ignore it and then just put the wood thing in nearby it anyway. And hope that it doesn't get in the way. Yeah, Alright, we'll try that. Hopefully it's, it's okay. Alright, we need that wood chopping thingy. We'll put it right outside. Mm, do we need an outhouse or something? I actually no, don't see people using outhouses, so I'm assuming we don't need it. We need a pallet though, for sure. And I need a, a place to store all our wines and shit. So. Oh, I know what we could do. We could just use this area in the back. All right, let's just shift this stuff like way down. That way I can use this for storage. What's this? A solid wine barrel made of spruce wood. Using our previous first, it's fragile. Risky. This is simple barrel used to store all sorts of things. We can put all of this just around here. What the barrel? Yeah, I'm gonna need that too. And I need that next to the food. I mean, next to the oven thingy for us to cook. I don't know if we need that. I don't. I don't know if we can cook with like. Can we? Can we cook like soup with that oven? Cause maybe we'll need the pot thingy anyway. I don't know. Let's figure it out. Alright, that means maybe we'll shift these down as well. Okay, that makes sense, yes? Okay, we good. We're at 3,425, okay? We only have... Uh, we don't have any food, candles, or anything else imported yet. Or hired anybody. We haven't done all of that much. And we need firewood and all that stuff as well. Simple dishwasher, alright, we'll need that as well. Do you need a stool in front of you? 
front of the innkeeper's table. <laughs> I don't know. It seems like he stands there, so I'm really not sure if this is even necessary. But okay, we'll try putting that there. And see if that's any use. Alright, so far, so far we're doing okay. Yeah, just need a bit of storage room, right? So we need barrels, we need uh, shelves, shelves and barrels, yes. The rest of the money is for supplies. Okay. Now we're buying the supplies. Wine is 98. Holy shit. Let's start with wine. Oh, wait, what's that? It's a new cook to learn your recipe. Don't have a cook. Unlock new object. Shield. Peeping Tom. Merchant. Oh, 487 for wine. Holy crap. Holy crap, do you guys rip people off? I'm gonna need candles and wood as well. Seventy-five for wine. Still very expensive. Ah, it's a vineyard. No, nope. can't click him. Oh, that's Rockbury's mansion. What the hell is he doing here? I thought we were done with him. Oh, this is our old area. Yeah, this is where we used to have an inn before it got destroyed. So this is where our inn used to be. All right. And yeah, seventy-five was the cheapest we could buy wine so far. A lot lager, sixty. I need mugs as well. I need everything, don't I? I need absolutely everything. We only have a thousand nine hundred twenty-five, which is not enough to to really stock up a lot. So there's only a few places we can buy stuff from. Yeah, because the rest of them won't trade with us. Alright, we'll have to keep it simple then. 75 is the cheapest we can buy wine, so that we'll do that. And water is cheap. Take some water. Uh, we need wood as well. Take some wood. Sausage seems cheap. So sausage and onion, is that we one recipe already? We need plates. We need uh, mugs as well. But if we buy it from the same place, it is sort of cheaper. Okay, well that that should be enough for us to survive on for a little while. Just the very basics. Just the very basics. Okay, now we need some recipes. I will be able to do bread soup. I got sausages and uh, this. I'm pretty sure I can do that one. Um, I 
think I can do the other one as well. I think I can bread soup as well. I think I bought bread. A well, small amount of it, but as long as we can do it, we're good. Table wine. Uh, we don't have a lot of... Okay, we'll get back to that. Okay, so herbs, mushrooms, variant stew, beans, and tomatoes. Okay, well, these three items are good for now. Okay. Why is he so expensive? This guy is a perfectionist. Alright, I'll take him. Alright, so we have a kitchen hand. Now we need the tub anyway. I don't know what a tug is. I know what a drudge is. We'll need a servant for sure. Probably need a second servant really quick. Yeah, we'll stick to one for now. What about you? Greedy. Hard to hide a lower wage. Lots and lots of money. Smart. Smoker. Persuasive. This guy doesn't do any persuading. Great passion for a job. Okay, uh, that I can, I can accept. All the best gossip. Lazy, simply. I think I'm gonna go with this guy. Okay, so we got the basics. We got one servant, one drudge, and one kitchen hand. Right, that should be enough. To get by on. We have one single empty room. Cool. What else we get? Oh, we still have to build this place up. Mutation is improving. Take this stuff and go out there and build it. <laughs> it looks like it's a dump. <laughs> Who's going to build the dump? <laughs> Come on, everybody, get to work. Oh, it's automatically built. Oh, fantastic. Your employee is leveling up. pallet in front of the inn I think because behind the inn does not seem to be doing it they still have to bring it from the front to the back so I may as well put something in the front anyway we're low on cash so I'm not going to spend any more money but yeah in hindsight this pallet should be in the front of the inn not behind hey what's up Musanchi? what's up oh if you haven't checked out my game go join us 
Go join us and check it out. Lots of cool stuff on there already. And more stuff added every day. Then you were sick? <laughs> Alright. This one doesn't let us cook the other thing, does it? So I don't think it lets us cook what we want. What's this? Breaded mushrooms. No, we can't cook that. So this oven is useless. I, I have to use the simple oven. Apparently this oven won't do it. Alright, let me, let me see if I can move this somewhere else because we can't use it right now. Yeah, you need the right tool for the job, so we need this in order to cook. Yeah. And that should allow us to do it. Yeah, so these are the two recipes. I can do breaded soup, barbarian stew. But I have breaded soup. I can do breaded soup. I need more water though. Don't I have water? I thought I bought water. Anyway, okay, let's go buy some more water then. Incredible farmers. Okay, we'll take some water. It's cheap anyway. We need it. I'll take some wood. And then... Do we need soap? I have no idea. Onions I have already. I have 20 in stock. Poultry, I have zero. Well, I could get mushrooms and then I could make that. I'll buy some lager for. Her. Yeah, why not? Why not? And then. What was it? Mushrooms and herbs, wasn't it? To get that other thing going. So if we buy herbs and we buy mushrooms, then we can also cook that other recipe. Now I got two more spots. What do we want? I could pick up some more lager. Just pick up one of the essentials. Like we know wine and lager are probably gonna be used a lot. Or maybe we need wood for cooking. Alright, we'll take that. Nice and cheap. Okay, back. We're open for business, but there's nobody here. Oh, do we have to put a notice outside? Outhouse. Oh, I need an outhouse. What's an outhouse? Is that it? No, oh, that's a woodshed. Ah, that's an outhouse. Okay. Okay, so can we open the business yet? For business. I love a new social group and the innkeeper's room. Alright. What's that? Guess what's on the tips? Travelers. Alright, let's go for tips. Oh, we can unlock a lot of stuff. More storage objects. Oh, we should have taken that. Dormitory. 
guests are more patient. Carrots in the garden. That looks more land. Onions in the garden. Okay, you can grow your own stuff. Nice, nice. So we unlocked so much stuff we didn't we didn't even know. We can't even look out. How do I even scroll? It doesn't let me scroll. But there's stuff here and I can't see what's up there. Oh shit. Alright, I'll take the maximum increased stuff. Raise the quality of tasks performed. Increase the amount of money people willing to spend, alright? Sounds good. True shed. Alright. Okay, so we spent all our upgrades. Well, this will do for now. Let's open our inn. Yay! That's right, Masachi. That's right. It's access to my alpha game. Tell me about the travelers. What's there to tell? They travel and then you're probably figured out by yourself. They often go and pay good money for a warm bit. That's why they're interested. Interesting to us. Guest room. Uh, not so fast. We need to raise the fame of our inn so that people view staying here for the night as a fine idea. Remember that you can always hire a town crier in Crossroads to advertise our services. Raise the fame. How do you do that? The more people enjoy visiting our inn, the more famous we become. To that end, it sometimes may even be smart to lower the prices and make sure that everyone in the inn is working at their top speed. Many patrons will also appreciate a richly looking, well-lit decor, but not all. Distressed will not enjoy luxurious ornaments and furniture, while outlaws prefer to drink their drinks in the dark. Oh. Like to drink their drinks in the dark, huh? Signboard for my business, but loud and walking around. If you pay enough, they will yell in a public square whatever you want, be it news or advertisements. Alright. Oh, my alpha is in two weeks. Probably the first week of December we'll be playing the game already. It's a uh, it's in the playable sort of state. It's not very uh, fleshed out yet, but it's in a playable pre-alpha state. So some people are going to get access to my pre-alpha game. I've given you access, but you have to join the server first. All of my favorite viewers will get access to the game. So make sure you join the the Discord so you know when we'll be we'll be launching. We're probably able to play it next week already. But there's still a bit of stuff I want to do on it, so probably either 30th of November we'll start, or one week after we'll start the pre-alpha and start playtesting. You can check out the videos, you can check out the screenshots, it's pretty fleshed out. A lot of stuff going on in the game. In. Take my order. <laughs> okay, well, that, the we'll boys to gonna be, them to be just more specific. Fine. Okay, so you're going to do innkeeping and and maybe not so much caring or cleaning. Ooh, I managed to get some of the money you pay for this bloody how, how, houseless lot. Spend it any way you see fit. Just don't forget to pay our loan. 22,000 goldens. Sweet, he got back the money. Oh yeah, but... Oh, was it a rat I saw? His yeah. yes. So, don't do cleaning, don't do gossip. Or maybe a little bit of gossip. Kitchen work. Well, yeah, not so much. So yeah, do this and then do that. Okay, cool. And then I have a, I have a chef, right? Did I burn something? Oh, you think it was you? Yeah, you're a cook. So you do cooking, and then and everything else will be slightly less. There you go. 
<laughs> Kung Fu monks. Yeah, that's right. You don't have proper equipment to store some of the resources. All right, so we need to we need to do more service. What can I do for you? More service waiting tables, yes, and then room service innkeeping. Don't do cleaning. I'll have my grunt do the cleaning. On it. No, you're the chef. All right, so where's my grunt? Where's my grunt worker? You are. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you will do the carrying, cleaning. I don't think I have carpentry and other stuff to do. But yeah, lots of stuff. There you go. <laughs> yeah, this game is, yeah, you're running an inn. A medieval inn. It's quite a cool game, I quite like it. It's very fun. Yeah, <laughs> it's a simulation game which I quite like. It's fun. You can walk around and manage your inn, hire people. Uh oh, I got that buzzing sound bug again. I gotta save. Scratchy bug. Yeah, let's save that. And then we put. Yeah, we have to do that because it's buggy. Hey, Carlo. Yeah, thanks. Hmm. Yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoy the alpha. I'll probably start streaming it next week. Okay, so there goes the scratchy sound. It's gone. I don't know where that bug came from, but the scratchy sound is rather annoying. On it. Okay, you're cooking, artisan work, and all that. Okay, cool, cool. So, we need to improve our reputation. Let's do that. Town Crier. Yes, yes. Do that. Crossroads, Town Crier. Do that. Okay, so we did some Town Crying. That will improve our reputation. And then maybe we can start to build a... I don't know, what do you call that? Uh, an inn thingy. We'll start to expand. Second level. Like they couldn't store some of the resources. Like what? What resources? More service. Damn. Hey, lady, take my order. Okay, I need another lady to take orders now. Ah, there's a proper chef. So the guy I hired earlier was a kitchen hand, not a chef. This guy is like a proper chef. Loyal. Alright, cool. Ok, 
they will hire a real chef now. The other guy was a kitchen hand. Where's the new guy? In my kitchen, I'm the king. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can do the cooking. And then you're not doing anything else. Kind of. I mean, yeah, try not to do anything else. And then the other guy that we previously turned used out as a cook not to be so bad. He is now going to be on end. He's not actually a cook, he's a kitchen hand. There you go. There you go. Now you're cooking. You're kitchen handing instead of cooking. Yeah, yeah. And this guy, Sabino. He is carrying, cleaning. Cool, cool. People are starting to pile in. That's good. That's good. Let's uh, let's improve. Can we can we buy like better tables and chairs and stuff? No, don't think so. I don't think there are better tables and chairs. What's this? Stone with a roof in case it rains and the water gets wet. Stone with a roof. Oh well. Oh okay okay. Put up the well. Well, one's probably enough. It's a shed for wood. Ta -da -da. Okay. <laughs> we're out of space, so we're kind of just shoving it wherever. It won't let us build up top, though. I was hoping I could do that. I'm not sure. Maybe, maybe we just kind of designed it wrong. Perhaps we need to expand this side first, and then they'll let us... Oh, no, we can't. Oh, wait a second, what's that? Crap. Can I undo this? This is like... It's just four walls on this one. I can't expand. And I can't sell it! What the heck? Alright. Oh, that's a empty room. I need to connect this to the main hall. Wait, wait a second. It's, it still looks like a separate room. Can I sell that? Oh, okay, I can click the sell. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Kitchen, kitchen, kitchen. Well, maybe we'll do like a real kitchen. Yeah, we just need to expand this. We'll put a real kitchen in here. It'll be a real kitchen. Game room. Private room. Guest room. Ah, put a guest room down here. Okay. Oops, no, no, no. Hang on, hang on. That's too many. I was going to put another room on the other side, but I don't know how to do that. Yeah, I want to put another private room on this side. Yeah, we'll put a door first and then we'll figure it out. Your employee is leveling up. Hmm. Uh. Alright, we need another waitress type character. Get to work. Uh, 
Alright, so I'm gonna need to put the rooms. Uh, the private rooms. Wait a second, where are the bits? Da, da, da. Nope. Ah, there you are. That's quite a bit. Simple bit too. Alright, fancy bin I guess would be better. Oh, no, 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 it appeals to different people. So a, a regular bed will appeal to like a different type of person. Okay, we'll put one of these first then. Okay, do we need something? Elegant desk. Writing poems, memoirs, and threatening letters. This is for sleep room, right? I suppose. They wouldn't mind having one of these. Maybe this room is a bit too big. It's now starting to look a bit too big. Like we're giving them way too much space. chair. This stool appeals to this guy, so we'll do that. I can put three of them. Is that too many? I don't know. It's ugly, fragile, and bulky, but this guy likes it. So I hope that'll do. Oh, is that the wrong type of stool? Because this is not for furnished sleep rooms. Oh, might have, might have got the wrong type of uh, stool. Okay, so this stool, tidy, fragile. Alright, we use this. I don't know, how many people do use rooms? Does it make sense to have multiples? I don't think we'll need more than one, but okay. What about this? Who's the fairest of them all? Night potty? When you need to go but don't want to wake anyone up. When there's no toilet around. Aesthetic of nearby items. Razors nearby aesthetic. Alright, fine. We'll put a, put a mirror in here. And then a potty. Because when you gotta go, you gotta go, right? In the corner, you got a potty. Alright, hopefully this is a nice room and people like it. Your employee is leveling up. I think we're gonna need new tables. So. Decorative outside. What's this? Nice counter. Oh, we should have built a nice counter. Yeah, we, we have a very basic simple counter. We could have gone with the nice one. Messy bastard to use. Yeah, we could have gone with the nice fancy counter. You know what? We can still put one here. Uh, but then we'll have to get rid of the old one, don't we? Maybe we'll shift it. Fancy one. Yeah. 
that does mean I have to relocate the barrels a bit. It's worthwhile, I think. Now we got a fancy desk. Install the tool shelf. Alright. We will. What room is this for? Common room. Well, I mean, we're gonna need to clean. So I guess a tool shelf is good. What's that? Stack of barrels. What's better than one wine barrel? A happy family life. But a stack of wine barrels can be nice as well. Sure, we got a stack of wine barrels. Ain't that wonderful. Oh yeah, we need some lights in here, right? Surely they want lights. Chandelier. Alright, we'll put a fancy chandelier here, because why not? Why not go all out fancy schmancy for the room? Using it fast. Okay. Maybe we can shift this and then we can put a wine barrel there instead. Boom. Boom. Faster to use. Okay, we're good. Oh, our supplies. Look. Alright, I can use more bread under these things. Dirty mugs. Which means we can probably use more mugs as well. Hey, what's up, Almato? Welcome to the stream. So, so we need bread and sausages and mugs. Oh, we didn't put lager on the menu yet. There you go. Now we have lager on the menu. Let's do breaded mushrooms as well. And ways well to barbarian stew. I need tomatoes and beans. Let's go buy some food. Tomatoes and beans. And bread and sausages. Tomatoes. I don't know where the beans are, but I probably need to find them. Your employee is leveling up. Wait, in stock 334 case, okay, we don't need water. We don't need water. We're good on water. soap for I don't know <laughs> um, for the game I mean not for like real life I know what it is for for real life I just don't know what it's for for the game 14 plates alright we'll take some more plates and then we'll take some more mugs milk what's milk good for don't know Garlic? Yeah, we'll buy some. You don't Something have enough nice. mugs. Your guests can't drink. Yeah, I know I need more mugs. I know I need more mugs. Maybe more. Flour. Garlic. Do I have garlic? I do have garlic. Cider. Cheese. Cereal. Carrots. I'll buy a whole bunch of stuff. I think. We'll pick up some venison and some turnips and see how that turns out. Let's haggle. There's too little food to feed all the patrons. No 
Don't worry, we're fixing it. We're fixing it real quick. Just hang tight. You've brought out of an ingredient needed for one of the dishes. <clears throat> one of your employees is sick. Yes, but we will fix that soon. I need somebody to wash the dishes. I need hire a dishwasher. What does a kitchen hand do anyway? I don't actually know what a kitchen hand's job is. I know what a drudge's job is. He's lazy, sickly, and gossiper. Fine, we'll hire him. Alright, I just want him cleaning. Cleaning manual work. Kitchen you don't work. have proper equipment to store some of the resources. What, what, what? What resources do we need? What kind of space? My stuff is around, yes. I don't have space to store some of the What are you talking about? I got lots of, lots of stuff here. Right, anyway, our kitchen is finally done. Oh, I don't have a door for my kitchen. I need a door. Oh, I can't. There's a window there. Here looks okay. Okay. now so we'll move everything into the kitchen Oops. it's hard to move stuff Still need to repay the loan at some point, so we better make sure we take care of business. You've run out of an ingredient needed for one of the dishes. There's not enough places to sit. You don't, don't have, have enough bugs. Sit, Your guests can't drink. Wow, we are getting popular, aren't we? We're getting so popular. I'm the best chef in Dilkris. Yes, you're the chef. Go get cooking. <laughs> We're paying you a ton of money. I think I need to get rid of that old one. Oops. There you go. I moved it. I need to sell it. There you go. 
I don't think I need that. Yeah, okay, we're good. I swear there was a door here, yeah. There was, I just got rid of it. Can my chef go cooking? Come on, man. I need you to cook, damn it. Yeah, that guy was stuck in a counter. I got rid of the barrel, and I think that. I mean, I, I got rid of the counter and then kind of fixed it that way. Yeah, are we good now? We good now? I think I'm gonna need another dude, man. The good news is that the place isn't filthy yet, which is unexpected. I thought it would be filthy by now. will be like a land of filth but it's not it's still good why no why is nobody cooking are they is there nobody ordering food no no people are oh for take I don't have enough people hauling that shit out. Okay, okay, I need a, I need another hauler. I need more haulers. Hey, what's a work man? Oh shit, having a little brawl here. Grab his hand and force him to go to strange places. Uh, not sure what this guy is going. A drudge, yeah? Drudge. Okay, we got us a drudge. They're getting... <laughs> They're killing each other, man! And I'm busy organizing stuff, I can't really worry about him. Yeah, I need to do some carpentry as well. Whatever, he can do everything he wants. Yeah, so much work to do now. <laughs> <laughs> You're trashing my place up, man. Oh, they are fixing it. Oh, that's my people. Yeah, my people are fixing it. These guys are still trying to fight. You run out of an ingredient needed for one of the dishes. What? What? Run out? What have I run out of? Wine? Oh shit! I'm out of wine. Is it lager? Yeah, it's lager. Okay, so I'm out of wine. I gotta go buy some wine. Or uh, wait, where's the cheap? Where's the wine cheap? Mm, let's check. This is 94. I think it was 74 here. 
No, it's 71 now. Fantastic. Fantastic. Alright, so we buy lots of wine. Where's the lager? Lager, 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 lager. There you are. And then lots of wine. Okay. Probably need some wood. Poultry, I don't have any. Plates, I can probably use more. And I can probably use more mugs because it seems like we're not washing them quickly enough. Greens, sure, I'll buy, I'll buy whatever it is. Oh, I'm out of space. Okay, well, we can't put that stuff in. Your employee is leveling up. this guy up to? He's still trying to fight. <laughs> What's your problem, Omar? I'm kicking you out. No, he doesn't want to go out. Sheesh. How many bugs have I found so far? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. People getting stuck here and there. Not that many bugs. I haven't found that many yet. I know that people get stuck here and there. Cleaning, you can kind of micro it. Just put one guy that only does cleaning, or maybe two guys that only do cleaning, and then that's all they'll do. It's like Rimwall, it's a finite state machine, so you kind of need to micromanage some of their priorities in order to get things done right. You don't have proper yeah, this guy is equipment like, to store some of the resources. He's bugged out, man. I can't even kick him out. Yeah, he's he's definitely bugged. <laughs> he is definitely bugged. <laughs> Not to worry, we'll sort it out. I think I need another waitress, yeah. Waitressy. I need one more. What about a picture? What's he good for? I don't know. What about a workman? What's he good for? I don't know. <laughs> ah, we'll hire him. He's not too expensive. What about a tug? Tug. I, I need a tug? Do I? Coward? Drunkard. I don't know what he's good for. Brave. Chaotic. Perfectionist. Smoke. Alright, we'll hire Henrik. I don't know what he's good for. I don't know what he's good for, but we'll, we'll try. <laughs> okay, he can be uh, on watch and patrol. And he can carry stuff. I guess so. I guess he can be on watch and patrol. Maybe he'll keep the peace. Yeah. Maybe he'll keep the peace and then we'll have less brawls here. This guy's he's yeah, bugged out. He's just stuck there. Dishes, good, good, good. So, uh, yeah, there's, there's still food that's already cooked that I'm just not picking up. Ten possible. I mean, need beans. I don't need beans, man. Where we, where we get beans? Where do we get beans? What's that? One of my influence. Fine, we'll just use the town crier. Get more business. Can we get beans here? No, oh, I would. But I got plenty. I'm good. Beans. Okay, you don't have beans. Medicine, which is cool and all, but I don't know what it's good for right now, so don't need it. 
Where do we get beans? Ooh, this is expensive. And we can't trade with the rock berries in the mansion. Peeping Tom, how about Peeping Tom? What's this? A new object. Oh. Orphan baby fawn hanging out with a rabbit and a skunk. Alright, we'll send Rokas to unlock um, help two. And let's. Ah, there you go, there you go. That's where you buy beans. But we don't really need that much. Well, I got a lot of space. The transport cost is really high. So I'm gonna have to try to buy more stuff. Just to make sure we make use of everything, every slot. new stuff. This guy is still bugged out. <laughs> Can't do shit about that guy. I wonder if that's bugging out my food as well. Like, people are not cooking anymore. What's going on? Does anyone even work here? What do you mean? I've got people working. Let me hire another waitress. Meat. Yeah, there you go, meat. First person on the moon, she can't decide which one wants this. Greedy and persuasive. Alright, we'll hire the maid. You don't have proper equipment to store hand some as well. of the resources. Alright, so we got a maid and a kitchen hand. What is the maid going to do? I don't know. Cleaning? Tables? I don't know what maids are for. Oh wait, room service? Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Okay, and uh, Glauco, you're supposed to do kitchen work, yes? And you are a cook. But I suppose if you have to, you can cook too. But yeah, do the kitchen handing stuff. I need to I need to get like a full time cleaner as well. It's, it's the filth is piling up. The filth is most definitely piling up. Yeah, look at all the cool stuff that's coming in. All that cool stuff. So much cool stuff. Just a higher paid servant. Okay. Well, that's good then, because that's what we need. We need a higher paid servant. A better quality servant, I hope. Ah, oh, cool. Look at all the cool stuff we have in our larder. Your patrons say your inn is dirty. Oh yeah, it's dirty. We're gonna, we're gonna get some light, come and clean stuff. Come on, come on. Who's gonna do it? Drudge. Drudge, Drudge is good cleaner, right? Yeah, let's get him Drudge. Alright, all you do is clean. Kind of. There you go. Go clean. Go clean, boy. I can think. <clears throat> Max alone. Oh, okay. Well, there's only one bank and I've already taken the max loan. I haven't paid them back yet. 
I don't have proper equipment to store some of the resources. What? What do I need to store that stuff? Giant's mug. Using this is fast. Made of old spruce wood. Risky and fragile. But it's very fast. <laughs> I don't know. Wine barrel, wine barrel two. All right, let's use a wine barrel two. Let's see how that goes. What's this? Oh, kitchen table. Kitchen table. Wait, is a simple stove something that cooks different things? It might be. Well, our kitchen's a bit small. Maybe we need to, you know, fill it up. Oh, it cut. I wanted it to, to connect. Damn, we can't do that. How do we break down the walls? Connect this to one single kitchen. <clears throat> Doesn't seem like you can do that though. That's bad because I don't want them to have to. Alright, maybe we'll just put doors and then that'll kind of do it. Yeah, we'll just put a couple of doors and hope that that'll do it. Yeah, okay. So that's also going to be a kitchen. Select the room you want to expand first before adding more. Oh, that's how you do it? Okay. Well, that's better then, because then I won't have to, you know. Okay, so. Kitchen. Select it. There you go. Cool. Yep. Good to have a pro teaching me how to play the game. <laughs> or at least showing me how it's done. Show me how the pros get it done. Okay, so we'll try to buy some more cooking type thingies and see if that helps us get more types of food going. Like, do we want to put a grill? like in the middle of this whole thing. I mean, it will be cool to look at, right? It's totally gonna be like super cool to look at, so let's put one out there. And then stove in here. Okay, so we got so many types of stuff now. Let's put some more water. It's a water barrel. What a nice looking kitchen. Okay, we probably need another shelf. All right, we're good. Do I have well? Yeah, I do. Do have a well right here. I don't know where to store the venison though. <laughs> do I, I need a refrigerator. <laughs> where do I put the refrigerator? I, I, I don't have anywhere to put it. Okay, so now that I have these, let's add some more stuff to the menu. Mug of cider, what's this? Cider. I have some cider in stock. Okay. Add that to the menu. What else we want? Is everything added to the menu? Yes, everything is added to the menu. So 
So does this let me cook something different? No, it looks like it's just barbarian stew. No, looks like it's not special. Not this thingy. What does it do? Also barbarian stew. So all the stoves do the same thing. Seemingly. Seemingly the same dishes. But that uh, that oven is different and I think the grill is different as well. The grill lets us do... Yeah, this one. Grilled sausage. Actually, grilled sausage can be cooked in the oven as well, right? Or the stove. I don't know. Anyway, we have grilled sausage going here. Hey, what a sight. What a sight. I get to send employees out to different towns and cities to get new recipes. I see, I see. Alright, let's do that then. Wooden shield. Rocus, you can go. Okay. Roast green drink. Okay, Lazaro. Here we go. Lazaro's my expensive chef, right? Let's just make sure. Did I burn something? Who's my expensive chef guy? On it. Glauco is my cheap guy. Oh, wait, when I gain a recipe, is it every, like, my empire gets a recipe, or is it just that one guy has that recipe? Because if I can just send my cheap guy to go and get it, then I don't have to send my fancy chef, right? And yeah, what's up, Edith, honey? Welcome. <laughs> Welcome to the stream! We're, uh, we're still figuring out the game, it's our first time playing. Alright, so maybe we can just send just about anybody. In that case, we'll send the the less capable guy. Glauco, I know, is like not fancy, right? Okay, we'll do that. Yeah, we'll keep the fancy chef. Where is my fancy chef? Yeah, there you go. Let's Someone's go got too much brooch on. Is he cooking? You know? Other people seem to be cooking too. Don't cook. What can I do for you? You're not. No, you're not supposed to cook. Uh, you can clean if you want, I guess. But don't, don't do anything else. Alright, you're clean. Okay, cool, cool. Your patrons say your inn is dirty. Oh yeah, I know. I'm trying to clean. I need another guy just doing cleaning. I have one more guy doing cleaning already. It's not enough, it looks like. And it looks like we're getting quite, quite big, so we'll probably need another cleaner type dude. Uh, servant also probably useful. Right, pick him up. Kitchen hand, do I need another? Maybe, I don't know. What's a kitchen hand's job anyway? They clean the kitchen? Or what? I have no idea really. Gerald to tug. Alright, we'll just hire him anyway for whatever reasons. <laughs> we'll figure it out. Alright, so you... You're the new girl. You can do cleaning. Yeah, pay to learn recipe, sure. So, I guess you can wait tables and then kind of, and then you, that's your job. Watching, patrolling, carrying, okay, you can watch patrol, carry, and then, I got icky gossip too, I don't know, I don't care. Your employee is leveling up. Yeah, I have, I have one servant. Who does only cleaning already but I think I need a second one because our inn has a lot of people in it and it's a mess so I think we need a second cleaner second full-time cleaner kitchen hand is 
I suppose he's cheap enough in high end. Figure out something for him to do. Your employee is leveling up. Kitchen work. Also, it looks like we do have enough. We do have enough. Um, we haven't even got our guest room in use yet. Yeah, I think I need second cleaner because you can see the filth is just crazy. Well, no one else that's cheap. I don't know what a veteran is for. Level 21. Slide. It's very expensive, and we're running low on money, so maybe not. We'll stay in kitchen and mostly cook. Okay, but I have a chef, right? My chef is not cooking, though. He's just walking kitchen, around. I'm the king. <laughs> He always just walks around. What the hell is he doing? So he doesn't have any other job. Well, I mean, technically, I could just leave him a little bit of kitchen work, but he doesn't have any other job. He just needs to cook. He just doesn't want to. Oh, maybe I need to buy more food. Maybe I'm out of food. Let me check. No, I got. I, I need bread, but I still have it. I need bread, I need sausages. <laughs> I'm running a little on wood though. Alright, let's, let's do another order. For these guys. Your employee is leveling up! Ooh, sausages are expensive. Very expensive. Okay, so we're really poor now. We're down to we spent like forty thousand gold. We spent so much money. Your patrons say your inn is dirty. No, it isn't. Or maybe it is. Uh, I don't have an upstairs. <laughs> this, the stairs. I was trying to build upstairs, but I then realized that it didn't let me. There was just no upstairs, downstairs option. So we were forced to basically abandon that. Yeah, we were. I was trying to build upstairs, but I couldn't. So we ended up with nothing up there. I mean, I tried, but it wouldn't let me. So that's all we got. What's this, our fame? Yeah, it's our fame. So we have some fame, but our bedroom just just isn't being used. Nobody uses our guest room. Nobody stays over. It's quite a nice room. It's so big. You got your stool all to yourself and a table and a mirror. 
even have a little potty for you. And a chandelier as well. That's how fancy it is. Even a chandelier. Even a fancy chandelier and nobody wants to stay there. Bummer. Food now, now, okay. Back to the kitchen. Yeah, go get some food. Oh, looks like a drunkard here. Oh, guest rooms need multiple beds. I didn't know that. Okay. Alright, so we should probably let them have lots of beds then. Sleep room. Alright, we were a bit broke now, so. There's only so many rooms I can afford to dump out now. But nobody's using the bedrooms at all. Like nobody's here at all. So now we, we might have to get some more. I was trying to appeal to these these folks, but nobody wants to stay here. Yeah, we're broke. <laughs> We better be making a profit. Yeah, I could sell the stairs. Good, good idea. I mean, I don't know if I could... Like, if you sell it, don't you sell it at a loss? Do you not? Do you not sell stuff at a loss if you sell them? I don't know. I did not get any money back. Oh my god, I didn't get any money back at all. That's kind of why I, I was wondering if I should sell it, because if I kept it, I could use it later, maybe, if they let me build upstairs, but... Yeah, it's basically sold. A thousand gold gone for nothing. Yeah, <laughs> Spoderman. <laughs> I know, right? It's a thousand gold and it's just deleted. I sold it, I clicked sell. You guys saw it. Yeah, that's why I wanted to keep it, because there are bugs in this game and I figured maybe later, maybe later I get to use it. So, yeah, it's okay. It's okay, we just lost a thousand gold, that's all. I like the game though, it's very fun. It's very cool. Nah, <laughs> we're not banning him. He's He's alright, or her, I don't know, him or her. Either funny, you're fine. You tried to help, I understand. It's all cool, don't worry about it. Your patrons say your inn is dirty. No it isn't. Try to keep it as clean as possible. So there's a couple of dishes that don't have any storage, like poultry and venison. Yeah, the meats. The meats seem to be unstockpileable. I, I can't put them in the... I need a refrigerator or something. Because they won't put them on the shelves. I need some other storage for that. I don't know what. Anyway, oh yeah, I'm out of money, aren't I? I was thinking of going out and learning more stuff. Um, are you? Are you? Wait, what was it I was... Quas. Oh, bread and water. Cool, bread and water we have. Thank you. Well, sort of. We're still barely managing to keep our inn afloat. Oh, oh wait! No, that's... is that a... This is a tough knock. Nah, that's one of my own guys. Rockus. 
Ruckus Puckus. You brought out of an ingredient needed for one of the dishes. I will right, make you do some cleaning. Yeah, so nobody uses our fancy rooms. God dang it. Yeah, we need, we need cleaners, so we're putting more people in cleaning to try to reduce the filth. I think we have three people full time cleaning. Oh no, what we are? What's this green thing? What's this green thing that we've run out of? Oh, there you go. Yeah, sure, we'll pay. Uh, what's that green thing? Cider? We're out of cider. Okay. Hmm. Oh, they increased the price. Mm. But it'll make them not like us, <laughs> I suppose. Alright, I can't buy cider yet. I, I need more money saved up before I attempt. Cool game though, cool game. Pretty hectic though, trying to keep everybody happy. What are you doing out here? You're the chef. Watching someone you flex his muscles. <laughs> Go back out there. Go back cooking. What do I hire you for? People. Your employee is leveling up. Clean it up. We're barely turning a profit. Damn, it's hard. Run out of candles, shit. I'm not making enough money. I can't really buy anything. Ah, my points? My points? Where are my points? Where are my points? Yeah, I know the, the, the last time I, I the last mission I completed, I had like 15 points saved up or something, and then when I started the next mission I had to spend it all. This is where I spend my points. Oh, oh, oh. I have your services advertised in the crossroads. Please, your kids. Okay, okay. I gotta do that. Raise my ins fame. Pay my bank debt. Don't care. This one. Raise my ins fame. Okay. Town cry in crossroads. Crossroads? Didn't I really do this once? No, I don't have enough money for it now. Hmm. We're at 11 fame though, it's not like we're completely unknown or anything. Oh yeah, the second tab? Okay. Is that book though? Aha! Yeah, yeah, we spent a bunch of it. Now we have none left. Unlocks beans in the garden. We don't have a garden. How do we set up a garden? There's no garden. 
Oh wait, is that a garden? No, that looks like flooring. Staff room? Oh. Complaining and blabbing about their employer. Alright. Oh, the storeroom too. Alright, I guess that's nothing we can do. Oh, buy mode, not build mode. I see. That's outside. Alright, so this is the garden stuff, huh? Wait, this is not a garden. <laughs> not much that can be said about a fence. Yeah, rat trap. Oh shit! I can build that. What's that for? I don't have any rats. Do I? I don't have any rats, right? So I should just get rid of it. You guys haven't joined my Discord yet for my game, do check it out. So we're cleaning the the guest room frequently, even though there's nobody there. Alright, I'm running out of Your candles. Your employee so is leveling up! Here. So if we have no candles, it'll be bad, yeah. What's this blue stuff? No idea. Number of guests, seven. Damn, that's not a lot. People don't want to work. There's only seven guests, but nobody wants to serve them. Come on, stop bumming around, man. Stop bumming around. Okay, I'm making... This one's on the house! Like, he's already in keeping. He's already in keeping. Okay, don't, don't carry. Don't do that. Don't do kitchen work either. We have enough people to do that. Yeah, so you got innkeeping, waiting tables, and gossip. Yeah, let's take away some of the grind. See, on the bright side, we now have enough people cleaning, and it's very, very clean, spotless. Look at us, we're spotless. Yeah, but they just sit in a in a in a circle and circle jerk, <laughs> not getting any work done. Come on, people, get to work. Those bums. <laughs> Come on, go back to work. Stop bumming around. <laughs> These bums. Yeah, I know. I bought a lot of random food types because I was just curious about it. I thought that maybe if you have more food types, you could make more recipes. <laughs> but uh, that's not looking like the case because we haven't learned all those recipes yet. So I thought I would buy them first and then see if we can make something out of it. But that did work. So then we have a, a larger full of really colorful food types that we can't actually use. In fact, we have like our meat, our venison and poultry sitting outside rotting away. Except it doesn't actually rot, so that's good. Good that it doesn't rot. At least we're clean now. With barely any customers, we're very clean. Oh, that's bad for business. That is bad for business. We're gonna run out of food hardcore. We don't have supplies, I think, so this one's out. This one. Got lots of beans, we have sausage, tomato, running out of onions, breaded, 
And we have herbs, plenty of bread, and mushrooms still in stock. I think we're okay on food. Lager, wine with plenty, plenty of sausages, water, and bread. Okay, we're okay on food types. Maybe onions are a little low, but everything else is okay. Okay, let's try the Town Crier thingy because we have enough money now. Maybe that will move the quest forward. I mean, the storyline forward. Maybe. Maybe. If it moves the storyline forward, then maybe we can build more things. Or at least put this guest house to use. Because right now it's empty and nobody goes inside, ever. It's probably because we have low fame or something. Your employee is leveling up. Yeah, we will have lots of food types for later when we get more recipes though. Uh, it's a good thing it doesn't rot. Yeah, it's a good thing it doesn't rot. So it's good that we have a stockpile of uh, an interesting mix of food types that we can't actually use yet. Oh, look at that, 17 people showed up. Nice. Wow, 18, look at that. So the advertising really helps. <laughs> I guess this game is like, yeah. It's 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 working like you'd expect. Yeah, 19 people now, look at that. The marketing is effective. Now we're gonna get overwhelmed and it's gonna get filthy like crazy. Like, look at that, it's gonna start getting super dirty even though I've got three people cleaning full time. The filth, the filth. Just wait for it, man. Just wait for it. Yep. 19 people showed up. Everyone wants to eat, drink, be happy. My chef doesn't ever cook, he just walks around, does nonsense. I've never seen him go and just cook. There's so In many my people. Kitchen, surely I'm the king. surely you, you can cook? What's this minus 100 bonus? No salary? Oh, maybe that's why he doesn't want to work, because his mood is shit. Because we haven't paid him. <laughs> maybe that's why. We haven't paid him because we don't have enough money. Or something like that. Seems useless though. He doesn't cook even when he even when we paid him when we had lots of money. I don't see him going and cooking. He just does nothing. He's just a he's just a bum. Yeah, they're complaining about our poor service, but it's not that bad. We are working as hard as we can. Still have some wood, so that's good. Alright, Zago. Alright. Dirty plates, go wash them. <laughs> Gotta make something tasty. Okay. <sighs> You're drunk! What are we feeding you for? You already drunk, son. Gotta cut him off.
Yeah, down to 11 guests, I guess. That marketing wasn't very effective. Your employee is leveling up. I did advertise and it didn't work. advertised and it didn't didn't work we're still is it still running maybe it's still running maybe the advertising is still active but we only have 12 people now I need more business we have my business man Rikudi or Dutral 4.30 sure three days all right let's go let's try it let's get more business It's expensive though, these town criers. Not a problem. Segi is the expensive maid, right? Okay, so we'll have her just focusing on cleaning tables. Maybe in keeping as well, I don't know. Don't clean, don't gossip. Something like that. So she's like a backup innkeeper now. It seems like the innkeeper is the one that goes out and gets money and takes orders, right? So we don't have enough people doing that for sure because they keep complaining of bad service so we're trying to put the two two guys full time in keeping now <laughs> yeah that's right Buddha we're four hours into this game an outhouse will be useful we have one why is it being used? Disgusting outhouse. Now we have one. Everyone else is cooking but the chef. The chef is the guy who isn't cooking. Maybe I need to fire one of the kitchen hands because I don't need that many. Maybe because the, the chef is the. I'm the best man. chef in Dilkris. Maybe it's because it's his mood. Another 16 hours of not being paid, being pissed off. I eh, will wait. We'll wait. See if he'll. Your employee back. is leveling up. Your employee is leveling up. Oh, 17 people in the house. Nice. Oh, there's a rat here. <gasps> okay, so we, we do need the rat thingy. Rat trap, yeah. Put a rat trap here and here. Okay. Let's see if we can catch that rat. Maybe we should put one in the kitchen as well. Uh, we st we can't do a second floor. We tried. This this uh this mission doesn't let us do it, I think. 
the storyline requirement or something maybe you might have to do things according to the sequence so maybe they just won't let you build your second level until you complete the storyline maybe i don't really know we're just figuring it out as we go Yeah, if that chef doesn't cook when his timer is up. In my kitchen, I'm the king. Uh, he's got 13 hours of still being pissed off. Okay, okay. Rats. Hmm. All right. 25 guests. Whoa. Now that's that's what I'm talking about. That's a lot of people. We're feeding them all. We're not making money though. We have a lot of guests and we're just not making we're 27 in the house now. But we're not making any money. We can take up the 36 and then we'll run out of space. Up to 36, but you know what? We're not making all that much money despite being f almost full house. One of your employees is sick. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. At least we do not have the poor service issue now, right? Yeah, ever since we put the two people on innkeeping, we do not have the poor service anymore so far so far so far so good so maybe that was a key having more innkeepers because innkeepers are the ones that take orders and collect money or something oh no where we go for service god damn okay so it doesn't doesn't fully solve it we're still getting poor service <laughs> curb starvation thanks buddha appreciate it man appreciate it buddy Thank Merry you for the bits. That starvation. Early Christmas presents, but I appreciate it. Thank you for the support. I do like this game though. I like I like simulation games. I like watching AI do things. I always find that really calming and fun. Thank you, appreciate it. Yeah, we have a chef who is just bumming himself all day. Just not doing anything. People are waiting for food. Come on, man. Get to work. We have a whole bunch. Maybe I need another servant. They're very cheap. Yeah, I'll just get more servants. They're very cheap. And um, we need people to do grunt work. <laughs> Alright, so stuff you don't do. Don't clean. Uh, gossiping? What's gossiping for anyway? Ah, oh, she's a drunk. Ah, oh, she's a good gossiper. Fine. We'll have one person like doing the gossiping or something. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. She'll be a gossiper, and you try not to do the cleaning. And what are you? Lazy, gossiper, dull, cheerful. Well, you're not a gossiper. I don't need everybody doing gossiping. So yeah, something like that. Maybe even do some keeping. Maybe the cleaning thing or things. We must cheerful. Okay, so I have a lot more in-keeping focused people now. Outhouse would be useful. But we do have one. Maybe we need a second outhouse. Oh look! We're making money! It's it's happening. We're turning a profit. Alright, they, they keep asking for an outhouse. Maybe because we need a second outhouse. Um, 
because we're too big. What's the outhouse thingy? Ah, oh, there you go. Alright. We'll put up another outhouse. I don't know if we should put our house in the front. Um, oh, I'm up, up here. I was going to make this another guest room, but nah, you know what? We'll put it in the front. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. Maybe they do, but they don't care. It's just an outhouse. Yeah, we'll put it in front so it's convenient for the guests. Surface again. Damn. We just can't fix it, can we? We do have a lot more money this time, though, so that's nice. What's this thingy? Economic gossip. What's gossip good for, anyway? Anyway, our population, I mean, our numbers are dropping. Let me start to boost it again. Maybe crossroads again? Nope, I can't boost crossroads. About moving. Yeah, let's get more people in the house. At some point, we're gonna start running out of food completely because our supplies definitely are draining. Well, hopefully, we'll make enough money to order another supply dump. Otherwise, we're screwed. Guys on kitchen work already. I have two biceps, and both are ready to work. Don't do kitchen work. <laughs> ready for anything. There this you go. is a tough night. There you go. Now you're doing some of that hauling the wood stuff so we can keep cooking. This is a tough life. Just don't do kitchen work because we have enough people on that. Yeah, our chef, right? Our chef doesn't do In chef. my kitchen, I'm the king. Okay, so he's not unhappy about about the not being paid now, so hopefully we'll start to see him actually doing this something because he is He's a bum! The guy's doing nothing. And he's super expensive. He's 415. That dude is expensive and he's doing jack shit. Like he's just walking around the entire time. Every single time. He doesn't do anything. And he's costing us a bomb. He just doesn't do it. Maybe we have too many kitchen people because he is not doing anything. On it. I do have a lot of kitchen hands though. Alright, how about we bump, bump this guy out? 
Yeah, all right, we'll fire him. I think I just fired him. Come on, is it gone? I don't know. No, it's still here. Although I have set him on fired. All right, we'll fire that cheap guy and then we'll see if our chef our high and mighty chef will actually start In doing my kitchen the on the king damn son he just don't want to work that's a shift outlaws do not like us yeah they like dark places. Your employee is leveling up. Well, there's an alternative. We can take the the lights and shift them to one side, and then have one side be really dark, and then the outlaws can take that side, I suppose. That side of the inn can be like a dark, the dark side of the moon. Oh look, the chef is working! <laughs> He's washing the dishes. Nope, nope, he just brought the dishes into the dishwasher. And then he had to do some stretching. And then he's bumming around again. God damn it. <laughs> you are one terrible chef. Alright, let's check, let's check, let's, let's check. Is he gonna cook? Is he gonna cook? Is he gonna finally cook? Nope, we're gonna take more dishes out. Really? That's that's all you're gonna do, really? God damn, man, you're a bum. Are we out of food? Yeah, we're running out. We're out of onions. We're out of lager. And yeah, onions. Side. All right, let's. We have enough money to make an order, so let's go ahead and order up. So, onions are out. Some onions. Maybe some more onions. How many sausages do we have? Not much. Let's make sure we bring in some more. Sausages and bread are essentials. And then, how are we doing on wood? Not great. Oh, maybe that's why we're not cooking, we're out of wood. Still have a bit. I think we're out of lager completely, right? Okay. Sausages. Candles, we are low as well. But not out of candles. Let me just get the wood, because otherwise they'll stop cooking. Alright. Supplies are coming! Hang on a second, we have some stuff in here. Oh, we have firewood. We don't have the other wood. The woodshed. This is for firewood, is it? Don't know. It's not putting any there. Your employee is leveling up. Feed me. All right, Seymour. We'll feed you. Was it a rat I saw? <sighs> Not a problem. I 
they are not even not assigned the to cooking. I don't know what's going on. This game doesn't seem to respect the instructions. Like, I told you to do innkeeping. There's no cooking even in your list. How are you cooking? See, why are you even cooking? You're not allowed to cook. There's, there's definitely some screw ups with the AI. Some massive screw ups with the AI because people are not doing what they're supposed to be doing and they're doing whatever we don't tell them to do. Yeah. Some screw ups. Maybe they're using behavior trees and it's all messed up. Okay, let's check this guy out. Come on, Chefy. I'm the best chef in Dilchris. You gonna cook now? No, you're just gonna spend all your time having fun. Damn. What's that? I'm the best chef, chef in Dilchris. Nothing. Oh, goddamn. So I, I, I don't know how to get the chef to actually cook. He doesn't actually cook. Maybe it's bugged or something, but... The chef is the one guy who doesn't cook. Everybody else seems to cook, but... What are you doing? Picking your nose or something? <laughs> He's the one guy that doesn't cook. Everybody else can cook except the chef. Sheesh, man. Sheesh. That means the one guy I expect to be doing all the cooking, but he's doing no cooking. And even the servants are cooking. Alright, running low on people, so we might need to advertise again. Alright, let's go. Let's go get some business. Alright, we need 540. Come on, give me some money. Your employee is leveling up. 540. Seriously? Are we not gonna get paid? Dang it. Where's my money? This guy really is a bum. I don't know what else to say. Someone's got too much free time. His mood is fixed, he's not moody. He just won't cook. What the fuck? Dishwashing. <laughs> okay, how will we cancel kitchen work and then all you do is cooking? Your employee is hmm. leveling up. Or maybe the game is bugged. Maybe cooking is not actually cooking. Maybe kitchen work is the cooking because all my kitchen workers are cooking. Even my servants are cooking. Only the chef isn't cooking because I set him to do cooking. So maybe the cooking instruction is bugged. Maybe that's why he never does any actual cooking. Fire him? Yeah, I was thinking about firing him because he's so expensive. He's 415. He's the most expensive guy we have. And he'll do none of the work that he's been hired to do. But I wanted to see if we can fix his bug. Like, he's just not doing Someone's anything. Someone's got too much free time. I want to see if we can fix what's wrong with him. If we can't fix what's wrong with him, then we'll never be able to use a cook, right? So he's doing In nothing. In my kitchen, I'm the king. He's just wandering. So let's try kitchen work and then forget the cooking, because cooking looks like it's bugged. Either the character's bugged or he's bugged. Okay, so now we're doing kitchen work. Let's see if he actually cooks. Because all my kitchen workers are doing all the cooking, which is the opposite of what I'm telling them to do. So strange. Nope, he's gonna do the dishes. In my kitchen, I'm the king. He's gonna do the dishes again. <laughs> really? We pay you 415 to do a servant's job. Really? Yeah, it looks like it. God damn, chef. We'll do nothing of the I'm sort. I'm the best chef in Dilchris. 
do none of the jobs we tell him to do. All the jobs we don't tell him to do. Yeah, he's, he's just doing the dishwashing. That, that wood cutting animation is so bad. <laughs> it's such a bad animation. Oh man. It's all pointing the wrong way. He's hiking it wrong. Oh man. Wish he could have done better with those uh those keyframes. <laughs> He loves dirty dishes, yeah. He just loves them. But he's not actually cleaning them. He just brings them here and then it just vanishes. It just evaporates or something. They're just I'm gone. the best chef in Dilkris. Yeah, so I don't know what to do with this guy, man. We tried making him cook. He didn't cook. We tried making him... And then he just goes and supposedly does dishes. Maybe his animation is bugged because he doesn't look like he's carrying anything. And then he comes here and then he doesn't look like he, he washes it. He just drops them and then just goes. So he he's he's useless, right? Alright, we'll have to fire I'm him. I'm the best chef in Dilkris. Wait, yeah, yeah, we'll have to fire him. Loyalty two stars. You gotta go, son. You gotta go. You're just not cooking for us. Holy shit, even this guy can I'm cook. I'm not too old for this shit. <laughs> and he's not. But I'm getting close. He's not even assigned to kitchen work. It's innkeeping. See that? Even the innkeeping guy is cooking. Holy shit. So the innkeeper can cook, but the chef cannot. There you go, that's the problem. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I have no idea what's wrong with this game. But there's a lot wrong with it. It's fun though, I guess. If they can get it working, I mean, this will be really, very really fun. The, the, the mechanics are pretty fun, you know? You're running an inn, keeping it clean, hiring people, they all have fancy stats and penalties and shit. Yeah, so the innkeeper does so much more cooking than the chef ever does. Bummer, I guess. Yeah, so this is the guy that actually does the dishwashing. The chef simply brought dishes, dropped them, and then it vanishes. In fact, I don't think he even took the dishes. I think he's just bugged. I really think that the chefs are just broken. They just don't work. They just don't work, sadly. Oh no, I fired the chef. The chef went AWOL because I fired him. I can't afford to keep paying him, he's so fucking expensive. He was draining our resources and he wasn't doing any work, so I had to get rid of him. Raise your inn's fame. Yeah, but by how much? We're trying. Try more advertising. I think it's a poor service because people come and then the service is poor and then they leave. Ah, yes, I need cider. Let's see where we buy cider. It was up here, I think. 
Yeah, is it the place? Nope. This is where we bought all the beans. We still have beans. Not vinegar right now, not vinegar. Yeah, I don't know where we bought cider. Let's go look in this place. Cider, yeah, that's a place. Alright. Let's buy a whole bunch of cider. Ooh, sausages are really cheap here. Okay, we'll take him. Price of mushrooms are by eating mushrooms, so I'll buy a couple. Medicine, don't know what to do with it. Probably shouldn't buy it. Lager, alright, I'll take some. Running out of space. Herbs, I guess I can do. Garlics, yeah, I don't need garlic yet. Don't know what to do with it. Oh shit, we can't buy that much. Okay, sausages are actually kind of cheap. Alright, let's get rid of some lager. Herbs. No, I need herbs. Mushrooms, I think I need them. But we don't have enough money. Fill it up with wood. Because wood is cheap. Okay, here we go. Broke! But we bought a lot of stuff. Some rats, boys. How are we gonna improve service? Does anybody know? We've already tried having like three innkeepers and a lot of servers. And it doesn't seem to it doesn't seem to fix it. And then people get upset and then they leave. This girl was whining about not having food. This is a tough life. Your employee is leveling up. <laughs> I want your money, but no one's serving you. Hmm, I think we still have a problem with service. Yeah, no one's doing it. They're all just happy to bum Oh, around. was it a rat I saw? Yeah. Are we supposed to keep praising them or something? Hmm. Ooh, Martin is just a bum. <laughs> He's just a bum. Alright, so I have been doing waiting tables and innkeeping, <laughs> but he'd rather just bum around. The worst thing is they all bum around at the same time and then nobody works and everyone's complaining about bird service because nobody is working. No one's bloody working. Mm -hmm. 
enjoying your nice food? Your employee is leveling up. Although we, we definitely do not have a problem with uh, cleaning now. Every, every one is cleaning and this place is spotless. We're doing a ton of cleaning. So we're very efficient with cleaning now. But we have problems with service. And I have no idea how we're ever Your going employee to fix that. is leveling up. How do you fix that? <laughs> how do you fix that problem with service? And we're not even making all that much money. Yeah, we're barely turning a profit. Cluster grouping here where they're just chatting. Man, that just drains up so much productivity. Like four or five guys just stand in a circle and complain. My goodness, that is so, so bad. Super, super bad. And still, nobody spends the night here. Alright, let's try advertising even more. back to work. I'm not sure if he actually ordered people to go back to work or if he just is telling you that he's going back to work. Man, these people are just bombing around. Maybe they're gossiping. Yeah, yeah. They're gossiping. I don't I know. There's no mouse over actions. I don't know what this is. What are they doing? Is that something I can fix? Stop them gossiping or something? I don't know. This thing is just messed up. Like this one's on the house. Keepers that are not supposed to do kitchen work or cooking, and they're just going and cooking. His job is to is to do innkeeping, collect the money, serve the customers, but he's not doing that, which is why we keep getting bad service. So it's not my fault that everything is screwed up. It's the games that's buggy and screwed up. Like it's not my fault. I have him assigned to do what I think would fix it, but none of that 
applies. He just goes and cooks anyway. He's not even supposed to be cooking. So yeah, I think this game is just not ready for prime time. It's very buggy. And you're gonna fail because nothing does what you tell them to do. Cleaning I've sort of fixed though. I've managed to keep the place pretty clean, pretty spotless. Uh, that's something that other people have complained about, not being able to clean. But if you prioritize cleaning, they do that. So that seems to work okay. But yeah, getting people to to serve customers, they're just not doing that. That one seems to be a problem. I don't have enough candles to light up in. Yeah, no shit, man. No shit. No shit. Alright, let's go buy some quick candles. Who's got some candles for cheap? 107. Nope, oh, you can't sell. Oh, you can't sell any. 111. 107, about the same. 110. Alright, so we'll just buy it from this guy. 107. Your no, employee is leveling up! Thank Hello. you for the sub, welcome. And if you haven't joined this, you should. Buy some candles. Two, three, four, five. Boom. Alright, that should sort us out for candles. And then hopefully we can keep the lights on. <laughs> yeah, we're still we're still struggling really hard, like we still haven't figured out. I think it's not us though, I think it's not us, I think the game is just bugged. The game just has a huge AI bug problem where things don't do what you tell them to do. I hope they fix it because this game has so much potential, so much fun. And appreciate the sub, Novatrix, welcome back, welcome back, we missed you. And I'm giving you access to my game, so you have to join the Discord so I can uh, level you up. supposed to be serving them does not. God damn it. I don't know. Nobody does what you tell them to do. So the innkeeper's job is cooking, which looks like it because all he does is goes and cooks. The servers also cook. So, the cooking guys don't seem to be doing the cooking, <laughs> they seem to be doing all the dishwashing. So, the kitchen, the kitchen people are supposed to be doing the cooking or the helping or something, but all they're doing is dishwashing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> definitely needs to be fixed this stuff. but. I can see so much potential. I can see myself spending like 18 hours just grinding this game out because it's so fun to watch AI do weird things. But uh, they do need to fix that. So I'm gonna give this game like lots of potential but needs to be fixed. Lots of bugs. Things not doing what you're, you tell them to do. Things not doing what you expect them to do. Things just being flat out bugged. But there's a lot of potential in this game because it looks like it can be so much fun when things actually do work. Just like real life in restaurants? <laughs> we can do weird shit all the time. <laughs> yeah, Novatrix would know. Novatrix is in the restaurant business. Yeah. For a long time, right? So you do know what goes on in restaurants. Yeah. But I have innkeepers who are cooking, who are not taking orders and not collecting money. Like, come on, that's your job! 
<laughs> yeah, and I have a chef who doesn't do any cooking, so I fired him. You know, he was the most expensive guy we had on payroll. 415 gold, and he would not cook. He would do nothing, just walk around, wash dishes, but he wouldn't cook. Is that what chefs do in real life as well? Because, <laughs> uh, yeah, I have a really overpaid chef that wouldn't cook. So if that's like real life, then I guess this is very realistic. <laughs> you barely have time to stand 10 seconds in the dishroom nowadays. Okay. Yeah, so my chef, all he does is wash dishes and sit around and do nothing. So he's really expensive. At 415, we could hire 15 guys to do his job of dishwashing instead of that one chef. So yeah, that cost us so much money because he just sat around bumming around all day. You just unleash your fury of the kitchen in there and then watch the dish noob get stuck for four times. <laughs> the time it'll take you to do it. <laughs> Yeah, that's why they pay you the big bucks, right? That's why they pay you the big bucks. See that? That's my innkeeper. Why is my innkeeper manning the room? This one's on the house! I told you, the innkeeper! You're not even allowed to do kitchen work. You're not allowed. But you do it anyway. Maybe it's, maybe you can't turn it off. Maybe off is bugged. Maybe we gotta set it to like low and not off. Because they still do them. They still do those wrong things. I don't know what to say. Let's follow the innkeeper and see what he does. Because we changed his AI a bit. Let's see. Are you innkeeping now? Are you just being an innkeeper? I don't know. But we'll see. Maybe. Maybe the turning off fixes it. I don't know. No, it looks like he's cooking again. He's cooking and serving. Now, technically, he didn't actually go and cook, did he? He cooked before we changed AI. Let's just follow him and see if he, uh, he is fixed. No, he seems to be cooking still. I'm not too old for this shit. Taking orders, but I'm taking orders, close. not not cooking. Taking orders, correct? Yeah, innkeeper taking order is about right. Alright, we'll follow him. Maybe the off thing was the one that was bugged. Maybe you can't turn them off. If you set it on off, then they don't do that. Oh, no. What's he doing in there? What you doing in the kitchen, Sean? You look like you're cooking. <laughs> God damn it. Yeah, he's, he's gonna cook. So it's not it's not the solution. What They, they still do whatever the hell you don't tell them to do. Definitely issues. Yeah, he's cooking. So his, his instruction was take orders. But he went off and cooked. That's not what a take order instruction should be doing, you know? And that's why nobody is providing any service. That's why every, everybody is upset. Nobody takes their orders, nobody takes their money. Yeah. like cider is really popular. I don't know if we're ever going to get anybody who's happy at this rate. Alright, let's try to get some more sales. Boom. A bit more marketing. Get those town criers to yell the name of our restaurant. People bumming around.
it's fun to watch them do things though. I just wish they'll fix the AI and all that. But it's very fun to watch them do things. It's very cool. You like low prices? Yeah, that's good, that's good. Yeah, low prices? High value! Come, come. No, not poor service again. But we're trying our best. Oh, fire the grill. Yep, you're using the wrong tool. <laughs> using a ladle to, to work a grill. I think Novatrix is, is, is rolling. <laughs> rolling in rage. What kind of cooks are you? Using the wrong tool for the job. Your employee is leveling up. <laughs> Can't fix AI and think it's the right way to solve restaurant meta. All right, all right. You know better. You're the boss. But look at my kitchen. It looks badass, right? Look at all the colorful food we have in our kitchen. Isn't that awesome? Our kitchen is very well stocked. Our larder is very well stocked. And it looks quite cool. Yeah, I'm definitely liking the game even though it's buggy as hell because I like watching people do things. Watch, watching AI do things. It's so fun. I love these kind of, sort of uh, simulation games. Food without preservatives is always nice. Yeah, it sure is. It sure is. You know, we have uh, our venison and, and poultry rotting out here <laughs> without refrigeration. So it's cool that it's a game and things don't rot. Although they could make it rot, but I think it's because it's buggy, so they don't want to put all this stuff in yet. So my, uh, yeah, we left all our meat out in the sun, and it hasn't gone bad the entire game. <laughs> so it's a good thing. Let me see if I can go get some more recipes for my people. Um, can I buy some recipes? Moss dumplings. Ooh, I don't have that. How about this one? Landscape painting, nope. How about that one? Oh, I can't cook that. I don't know what these are. These eggs or something? Pate with cranberries. This sounds Norwegian. And I can advertise. Not enough influence. Okay. We can buy stuff. Let's see what else we can Good appetizer as well. More advertising. Might be too much advertising. We'll just take it easy. Pate with cranberry. Perfect into gardening and want to be more efficient. Sure. Sure. Alright, fine. We'll send a guy here to, to get moss dumplings. Even though we can't actually cook it yet, we don't have the components. Oh wait, it's a place here I never noticed. Ah. What's this? National Bank. Oh, we can take a loan. Oh, we can take a massive loan. I didn't know there was another one here. Alright, we'll take it. <laughs> I didn't know there was another bank. Oh, there's another bank. There's three banks. <laughs> Alright, we took we took massive loans. Alright, we've taken massive loans from everybody. I didn't know there were more. I thought there was just the one bank. But there are three banks here. Alright, so now we can like really advertise like crazy everywhere because now we've got the money to do it. Yeah, so now we've got so much money, we're so rich that we can advertise everywhere at the same time. Let's bring in some more supplies just in case. Just in case we run out. Sight. 
cider. Yeah? People love cider. And uh, there's only one place to buy it. Over here. Greens. I know I need it for that new recipe. I know I need that, that uh, cranberry stuff. I don't think I can find it here. Yeah, I have to repick everything. Well, that sucked. I have another guy down going out to buy a recipe, so we should just wait because otherwise it'll just cancel us. Hey, did we already advertise? I thought we did. I thought we already advertised. Apparently, you can double advertise. Yeah, why not? Let's just try it. Ah, oh, there you go. Not new recipes. Vitali, Rokas, you're on. Yeah, we have a guy learning this recipe. Right? So we should not need to. Sambrian rug. I think I have someone going out to buy that recipe. <laughs> we just took loans from all the banks in the game. Uh, we haven't bought uh, a storage uh, technology thingy. Place I mean, we, we could probably build it already, we just didn't have any money early on. Hey, there's ice! Hey, I didn't know there was ice. Wow, lager is super expensive here. But there's ice. I didn't know you could buy ice in this game. I did not know you could buy ice. It's good to know. But let's get some more onions anyway. Onions are popular, it seems. Seems to be a very popular item. Oh, come on. I was in the middle of a freaking buying order thing. God damn it. Wow, we have 34. We have a full house, man. Full house. I just you know, I gotta buy some shit. That's all I gotta do. Okay, beans. I know I can use. Bread. I know I can use. Garlic. I think I can use. Herbs. I know I can use. Plates. Mm. I wanted some more. Onions. I know I need. Nah, we're full anyway, let's buy it. Nice. Okay. Cool. We have 37 people in the house. That's overloaded. They're gonna complain about not having places to sit now. There you go. Definitely overloaded. Too many Your employee things. is leveling up. Lager is really cheap here and we need it, so I'm gonna overload on the lager. Buy lots and lots of lager. Wine is not that cheap here. I don't know what soap is, but let's try it. <laughs> I don't know what it does in this game. I don't know if it's useful enough to buy it.
Your employee is leveling up. Okay. Let's order all that stuff. Ah, oh, we need greens. Alright. Because I know there was a new recipe with greens in it. Let's pick up some flour. More cider. Since you can't buy cider anywhere else. There's not enough places to sit. Okay, we ordered ridiculous amounts of stuff. It's coming. Well, we have a full house, so I guess it's good. Then we have tons of food coming in. We're out of wine. Okay, so we need to overload on wine. Wine is good. Fertilizer? Maybe we need that. Maybe we need that to go plant our own stuff. Lots of wine coming. And you know what? It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, go. Let's have a look at our inn. How are we doing? Now <laughs> we took loans from all the banks. Now, can we expand? Can we? Poor service. I like low prices. Poor service. Your reputation is improving. Oh. It is! It's finally improving! Okay, so now that we have a lot of money, let's try to decorate. Because we have not had any decorations going. So people probably are upset because we didn't decorate this place like super nice. But now that we have money, we will decorate. All kinds of crazy decorations. Whatever it takes. As long as they like it and they pay us good money. Hmm, I can't put it here. Oh, it's a door decoration. Wait, I can't place it though. No, can't hang it. Alright, don't know how to use this one. It just won't let me buy it. Um, tough to earth plant? Sure, why not? Yeah, just toss them everywhere. What could possibly go wrong, right? Chandelier. What well, could possibly go wrong, right? I might need to leave some space for some additional tables.
this old wooden cart. Oh, the sight of it will make country folk feel at home. Alright, if it makes you feel at home, then I will place it. <laughs> it's stuck in the banister. What's this for? Decorative, right? Okay. Cartwheel. Ugly. Oh, okay. Put it outside then. Can't really hurt if it's outside, right? Yeah, but it might not be useful outside. Nobody can see it. But, you know, it's not terrible, I suppose. Alright, the redecorating is going quite well. This stuff just hangs on the ceilings. Uh, sort of. So you can kind of just hang it here. Weird, but okay. Alright. Basic lanterns. Alright. I'll put some of these up. Some people like them. Is this looking nice now? Are we looking like super nice? Are we gonna get good reviews now? Are we? I sure hope so. We owe the banks a shit ton of money now. <laughs> There's no going back. There's no going back to being small and unknown. You must be the talk of the town now. You must be the finest in the land. We just must. Could add some more tables? Yeah, I could. I could. I have a, I have room for a couple more tables for sure, for sure. Let's see, Maybe chandelier right above this, just to be you know fancy. Just to be fancy, we put chandeliers everywhere. Hmm, torch. Oh, these guys like torches, huh? But then again, they also like these. So there's no need to double up. Okay, these, they're supposed to hang on doors, right? They don't let me hang them on doors. Then where the hell am I supposed to hang them? So I can't hang them... I think they're just bugged. They, they look like they're supposed to go on doors. Right? It looks like they hang on doors. Maybe they don't work with those doors or something. I can't hang them on walls. And they don't seem to hang on doors. So, 
just decorate as much as we can. Yeah, there's, there's so much shit all over the place now. For no reason at all. Just decorative crap all over the place. For no reason at all. We're just dumping this to make our place look nice. Flowers everywhere. Even a welcome wagon. <laughs> Extremely excessive decorative stuff all over the place. For no reason at all. Just for the hell of it. I need another chair for the inside, don't we? Maybe, I don't know, there's a potty in the corner. <laughs> Put another potty in here. Ah, one potty is enough. I'm gonna get a desk. What's that? Sacks? Oh, we don't have sacks. Let's, let's get some. How could we have no sacks, right? We gotta have sacks. Everybody needs to have some sacks. <laughs> All right, wine barrels, wine barrel twos, small barrels, giant mug, poor kitchen table. We have all these. We have all the rest of the cooking paraphernalia. Hey, what's up, Zargo? Yeah, we, 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 we finally figured out there are actually three banks on the map. So we went and took a massive loan from all the banks. Yeah, we took a big ass loan from all the banks and so basically it's do or die. We're broke now. Yeah, we, we spent a shit ton of money. Because I figure, why not? <laughs> why not, right? Why not go all out and see if we can turn this thing around? Try to turn it around and make us great again. everywhere and just being weird but everywhere if this is not everywhere enough I don't know what is Decorate the kitchen. Not that I think we need it, but we decorate the kitchen as well. A little bit, maybe. Just in case they somehow see the kitchen. So our weakest guys are the outlaws, right? The outlaws absolutely hate us. So they are, I guess, the biggest priority. What's this style thing? I don't know what that is. It is 
is dirty, hard to clean, but it's fancy, so fancy is good. Fancy is good. Can't go wrong with fancy. Alright, so I think I've bought absolutely everything that can be bought. It has been bought. What's that? Fragile. I don't know what that's for. Ah! Composter. Want to gardening and want to be more fancy? Sure. What's all these composting things? Do I need a second? No, it looks like they like it. But they will not see it though, so I don't know if they'll actually gain any value from this composting stuff. Ah, let's put a notice board outside too, just for the hell of it, because we can! Why not a second one, right? Because we can. And since we have money, we may as well make another room here. Just to be fancy. Is that roofing? Oh yeah, it's roofing. Nah, nah, I'm not gonna touch the roofing. I will touch the flooring, maybe? Or is it, the, maybe it doesn't matter. Flooring is just, yeah, it's just vanity, right? And it's all, look, it's all look kind of looking the same. Okay, so what do we want here? It's an empty room. That's the main hall, right? But we used empty room for the main hall. Maybe that's why it's weird. Ah, oh, we can build a storage room, a staff room, game room for scoundrels. But there are no scoundrels. Or well, at least we don't have scoundrels yet. All right, I'm gonna make it a private room. Bards or politicians? I don't think I get them yet, but never mind. We'll just build it for them. Maybe we'll get some once we build it. Okay, let's uh, get all elaborate. Since this is their private room. And it's for all the uppity class people. I think it's a private room, so it should be for just him. And we'll put like a really high class room. What other decorations do we have? Right, it's gotta be all the extremely high end stuff. Yeah, this is an elaborate room, so we don't want the cheap decor. None of that cheap decor. Uh, fancy decor, sure, but not cheap stuff. I don't know if we have enough fancy decor. Double the fancy. Flower covered barrel. I don't know. The 
seems cheap. Put one in there. But don't want to overkill on that. It's this slightly fancy. Also, we have drained so much money. I don't know if we have any more left. Maybe we should keep a little bit. so far. See, it looks like it's it's for doors, but then when we click it, it doesn't place it. By end of campaign, you get six private rooms. Oh, yeah, I mean, we didn't know. We didn't know at the time when we were designing it. We could, we could split this in a half, right? Could split this in a half and then put another door. But for now, you know, we'll just have a super elaborate single room and see if anybody even uses it. Because nobody uses our rooms. Nobody uses our rooms. It would be nice if they did, but uh, nobody uses it. Okay, so this is like super duper extravagant. Now, you guys are gonna love my place now, because I've just super decorated it. It looks like a crazy place now. Alright, let's add some more uh, tables, because we, yeah, we have not been adding tables. put it here. Shift it a bit. Yeah, that's all good. Each of these adds us four more patrons. So we don't need that many more to just be completely maxed out. I think another two tables is enough. Do we have fancier tables? Tables for the fancy folks. Okay, so you can use this because you guys are fancy. Wait a second, how many people can I fit? Because if I put three of these, wait a second, can I use chairs instead of benches? Because I don't know if I, if I put the wrong stuff. Because there's only two people per side if I use benches. But if I use chairs, will there be three people sitting, or do I only get to put one on each? Oh, you will invite them to stay, you will know when you see them, okay. Anyway, I've kind of made it for, like, it's an elaborate room for politicians and shit, so... It's kind of catered to the politician type characters. And a few things hanging for the bandits in case, no, outlaws in case they want to stay here. Yeah, but it's kind of for uppity people. Yeah, the fancy uppity people. But for chairs, do you know about chairs? Because I can fit three chairs in here per side, but how does this work then? Can we actually sit three people? Or, or are these supposed to be benches? Well, we'll figure it out, I guess. They seem to fit, right? But I don't know if it actually will. But that's six on one table. Will they use that table? I don't know. It seems to work, because the whole bloody table goes with him. <laughs> for science? Yeah, we just did it anyway. <laughs> for science. Yeah, it, it turned yellow and attached, so that's what I thought. So because these chairs cater to this fancy folk, and then these chairs cater to these guys, the adventurers, 
and then these cater to the other people. So maybe we'll have three specialized tables that are meant for different people to sit on. Yeah, like this. Yeah, so that's like a table meant for these adventurers and then that's a table for the fancy folk. And then we can have a table for the cheap people, the poor people, the farmers. Yeah, so this one's for the farmers. Benches are neutral. They're just like neutral. So if we replace the benches with fancier chairs, maybe it'll work. Yeah, different sections for different groups of people, right? That's what I'm thinking of doing. Kind of. Anyway. We should put up one more table then, and then use it for the new group of fancy people. Alright, let's put it here. It'll be okay. So then we have three tables currently for three groups that will prefer them. And that's it. That's all we got. We're really poor now. Six thousand. I mean, we spent forty thousand. Well, we we loaned, we loaned forty thousand. So we spent thirty thirty four something thousand, which is a lot. It's a lot. So much lighting and fancy stuff here. It's crazy. I think I need to put some extra barrels in here for uh, storage, though. Just to make sure I have enough space for all the good stuff. Okay, I think we're good. sacks, got barrels, got all kinds of shit. Alright, if you guys are still pissed off, I have no idea what to do now. I've like Your super, employee is leveling up. super elaborate setup now. It's super elaborate. <laughs> this is like a, it's like a, like a Christmas party or something. This is crazy. I should probably have focused, right? I should have probably focused like maybe one section will be for the farmers and then the farmers will have the farmer decorations, the colorful stuff, the pitchforks and you know the farmer the farmer section and then they have like the fancy folk section or something. We should probably have done that. In hindsight, in hindsight we should probably have done that. So the decoration and the the tables and all that will be completely catered to one demographic just to make them happy. Well, in hindsight, that may have been the better option. But look, they're immediately in use. Look at that. Immediately in use. These guys, yeah. The fancy folk. You a fancy folk? No, you're not. You're a traveler, which is the wrong table for you. This is not for travelers. Yeah, I guess they don't care. <laughs> they sit wherever they want. And uh, they're not sitting according to their target, market. So I guess the chair stuff doesn't work. Because they're all sitting on the wrong chairs. Yeah, Azago, I'm playing the campaign. This is the second mission in the campaign. No one can attach to my inn. Oh, the first inn already got burned down. I know. <laughs> this is my second, second part. The first inn already burned. It already got shredded. Unfortunately. Your employee is leveling up. Yeah, this is the second one. I don't know if there's anything fancy with the second one, but this is the second one. Alright, 
so now it's better lit than it was before. I need to build a staff room for the people to gossip into as well. Not critical, but if we can build a second floor... Your employee is leveling up! Yeah, it might be possible, but... Yeah, we're trying to, we're trying to make the outlaws happy, but... Hey, on the upside, we are accommodating a lot more people. Your employee is leveling up. Let's keep marketing it. Patrons say you're in is dirty. Hash browns? But I don't have these things. <laughs> My inn is not dirty. That's for me. Oh. No, it's not dirty. Is it? Oh, maybe a little bit. Maybe a little bit. Maybe because we got a lot more people coming in that it got a bit more dirty. Well, I guess that means we can hire more people, right? You don't have enough mugs. Your guests can't drink. <laughs> of course they can. You don't have proper equipment to store some of the resources. So we tried a cook and it was terrible. <laughs> we tried hiring a really expensive cook once. I you don't, know don't we have again. proper equipment to store some right, of the I'll resources. Try Batista. Hopefully it was just that the first guy was bugged or something. Carrying stuff and then watch and patrol, I guess. Okay, you're a cook. You're the cook. Alright, let's have you cooking. And I hope it works. I hope you're not a bum. Like the last couple of. The last cook we had. Complete bum. You're gonna focus on manual labor. Okay. And then you need a cleaner, so you're gonna focus on cleaning. Your patrons say your inn is dirty. Yeah, that's why we got the guy. Do we have any more people? 
You don't have enough mugs. Your guests can't drink. Service, all that good stuff. Look at them go. Nah, it seems like outlaws just don't like us ever. And the filth is definitely piling on. I don't have enough mugs. Okay, I gotta, I gotta buy some mugs. I have a lot of people coming in now. So. Can I pick up some mugs from here? Your employee nope, is leveling expensive. up. Nine is too expensive. Mug, like eight. Oh, still very expensive. It's not getting any cheaper. Yeah, it's not getting any cheaper. Just buy it from these guys. Ice. Don't know what to do with ice. Uh, lager is overpriced. It's a bit expensive, but I guess it doesn't matter. Okay, so we've got those things coming in. We should have the the mugs and the plates we need to keep a much larger inventory. <laughs> Not drinkable here. <laughs> but look at it, we have so many people. 47. Fantastic. You don't have proper equipment to store some of the resources. Oh, yeah, look at that. Look at that. Maybe I need a second dishwasher or something. I need another guy to clean it. This has gone like way crazy. I don't need a foreman, right? Probably not. You don't have proper equipment to store some of the resources. Okay, let's check if our new chef is doing any chefing. <laughs> if he's not doing any cooking, then we'll have to get rid of him again. Hired. Well, I mean, it's a mess. I have no idea where he is. Where is he? Your employee is leveling up. Is it this guy? This guy looks like he's got a. What's cooking? Time. Good looking. Yeah, he's the chef. He's the cook. don't have proper equipment to store some of the resources. Do I? The place is dirty. Oh yeah, it's really, really filthy. I think it's maybe the carpets that is causing this. Oh my, even, even these guys don't like us now. They liked us before. I was trying to improve my relations with the, the outlaws. That didn't work. Okay. 
Well, at least we have enough plates and mugs now. Oh my goodness, so much filth. <laughs> so much filth. And so many plates and bowls to wash now. It's crazy. Look at all the dirty plates piling up. This is nuts. <laughs> you don't have proper equipment to store some of the resources. Hmm. Your patrons say your inn is dirty. Yeah, we're not gonna get good reveals. Good reviews like that. I have no more cleaners though. Unless I just set one more guy up to go clean. On it. Kitchen work. Okay. We wanted you to cook, but you know, nobody actually does cooking except the the servants. <laughs> this is a tough night. We need people to do manual work as well though. It's kind of necessary as well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're doing clean, fine. Yeah, yeah. You are also carrying and cleaning. Yeah, I got a lot of people cleaning. I mean, they should be able to catch up at some point. We have so much human traffic, but it's gonna come down because we stopped advertising. You don't have proper equipment Let's to store some of the resources. Let's keep advertising. Oh shit, now 670. Damn. <laughs> Your veil shield too. Fancy. Very fancy. Soldier snack. We'll buy whatever you have. Oh, we're out of sausages? Oh no, we just don't have space to store them. We actually have plenty. Yeah, they were just whining about us not having space to store them, but we actually have plenty of sausages. Just nowhere to put them because we are like seriously overstocked. Maybe this needs to be moved. And then I can put up another shelf. Maybe. It's tough to. Man, the money is draining. We're definitely not making enough. We're definitely not making enough. Where's my chef? Where's the chef that I I just hired? He's probably sitting around doing nothing again because that's what all my chefs have done. Look for the guy with the long apron. Where the hell is he? Where's the hell that guy with the long apron? I don't even see him. He's gone missing. He has gone a war. Yeah. Where's the long apron guy? I don't even see him. 
Oh, I guess we can click on his name. Batista. Where are you, Batista? Oh, maybe he's gone out to do the, um, uh, what do you call those things? The, 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 the buying stuff from, uh, <laughs> buying technologies from the other stuff. Yeah, so maybe he's gone out. He's not in town. I mean, not in my tavern. He might have gone outside. So all that money we spent, all it did was make things worse. All that happened was making things worse. <laughs> Send the search party. We must find that missing chef. Where is he? He's supposed to cook. I'm pretty sure we sent him out. Uh, it must have been, must have been, must have been the guy we sent out. We sent out a few guys. I don't remember their names. We sent out a few guys to go like buy technologies from nearby towns. So that must have been it. There you go. There's the guy with the, the long apron. There he is. Is he cooking though? That's the important thing. Are you cooking, sir? Nope, he's washing plates. See, all the chefs I hire, they end up being dishwashers. They end up being like super overpriced dishwashers. So he's washing dishes instead of cooking. Right. I have three guys stirring the pot. Nice. Yeah, you guys have fun stirring the pot. Advancing a bit in quest before investing a ton of time in this inn. <laughs> Are we gonna have the, the inn burn down so quickly? This is the second the second uh, mission though. Yeah, but we, we kind of flunked the quest. We just can't get them to like us. We can't get them to like us, so we, we've kind of been unable to... Are we supposed to do this? Maybe we're supposed to pay him back. Maybe that's what we're supposed to do, to advance the quest. But we've never been able to raise our fail. Yeah, I guess because we suck at this. Or the, the bugs are just there. Like for example, our chef, our cook, who, who never cooks. Our cook never cooks. So clearly that's not working. Look on the bright side, right? It's clean again. <laughs> We're clean. Look at it. It's spotless. It's spotless. We cleaned it again. So it's working now. But still nobody will stay in our inn. Such a waste, right? We got such a nice, such a nicely designed inn. It's so pretty. Why will you not stay at our beautiful inn? <laughs> that is so well decorated. It is so beautiful. Oh, he loves the deco of this room. Yeah, there you go. There you go. At least somebody likes it. But overall, we're completely losing popularity. We used to have people from this side like us. Now they don't. Yeah, we, we never had the outlaws, but then the adventurers used to like us. Now, we've lost both of those guys. a very promising game and I see a, a good future for this game if they can fix all these issues but it, there's, it's definitely very fun I, I'm, I'm enjoying 
screwing this game up. <laughs> I'm enjoying being screwed up because it's fun watching your AI walk around and do random cool shit or random stupid shit. It's kind of fun. And there's a lot of variety in the dressing that these guys have. It's quite good, it's quite good. I like it. And the core concept is pretty good. Medieval tavern owner, design build a tavern. Sounds cool. The core the core gameplay loop is very good. I enjoy it. Uh, my main quest is to raise the fame, which is this thing here. Raise the fame, but I can't raise it because nobody likes us. You see, poor service or whatever reasons. They don't like us, and so the fame doesn't go up. It doesn't go up enough, at least. We need to go up high enough that we can get travelers to come to our inn and stay. But apparently we have poor service. When we finally got the place clean, now they're complaining about service. Just like the real world, right? People always complaining about something. Always complaining about something. It's, if it's not this, then it's that. God damn it. Everybody keeps complaining about something. Well, at least we made it clean now. And now it's just service. God damn. Your employee is leveling up. Guests can't drink. I don't have enough mugs. Oh, great. Oh, great. We're not washing quickly enough. Yeah, see, even with our, our chef doing all the washing, <laughs> we're just not washing enough. Your employee is leveling up. Great, just great. Just wonderful. Food now, now. I know, I know, but I can't get them to do what they they're supposed to. It's not my fault that these guys are just bums. <laughs> why don't we drop prices? Yeah, why don't we drop prices super cheap? Because if we do that, crap sticks. Hey, I have these. I can do that. If we make the prices super cheap, then they're gonna like us because of low prices. Your employee is leveling up. <laughs> hey, it worked. Your reputation is improving. We just needed more recipes. Finally. So I guess this fancy guy is coming to stay. Oh, finally we could progress the main story. So it, all it needed was more recipes. We just needed more food recipes, drink recipes. And that was it. That was all we needed. Just sort that out and then... We want to rent a room? Good, good. Come, come. Come. We have beautiful rooms waiting for you. Enjoy, enjoy, truly enjoy. Ha, <laughs> finally people use our rooms. They've been sitting there rotting for the last, I don't know, an hour or so. You don't have enough logs. Your guests can't drink. Yeah, shit, oh crap, yeah, come on. I need, I need more of these. Okay, I need a little washing thingy. I need a little wash basin thingy. Where's the wash? That's it. Simple dishwasher. Yeah, that's it. Alright, so. Guys, another dishwasher. Maybe. Maybe they'll do it. Maybe they won't. I don't know. But we got us a second dishwasher just in case. Let's 
seems like we can't keep up with mugs and our service is poor. God, deleting spree. <laughs> I don't know. I think we can recover. We still have a bit of cash. We still have a bit of cash. I think we can recover from this. Alright, let's go order some more mugs and stuff. We can't wash them enough. We just need more than 30 more mugs. Do we have plates? We're okay on plates, so right, we just need a couple more. Maybe 20 more mugs will do it. We don't have too many because then we have no place to put them. It gets super messy. coming 20 more mugs I don't want to overdo it because we're gonna wash more I think it should fix it up oh really clear out the gas I mean, we, we stopped advertising, so I think they'll just kind of drop after a couple of days. So we don't have to kick them out. I think they'll just naturally leave. Your then, employee is leveling up. Yeah, you can see it's dropping. And then fewer of them will show up because we stopped advertising. And then we'll see. Once we level it back to like 20 something, uh, we can try to fix it back up again. I hope, I hope. You don't have enough mugs. Your guests can't drink. Yeah, we just brought those mugs in. Enjoy. Also, if we convert these benches into chairs, we can fit six per table. So we can compress the number of tables down <laughs> because now we can fit six per table if we switch into chairs. So we'll see. I don't have enough candles. I don't think so. Didn't I buy them? I sure had now. No, we have 50 candles. There's no reason to not have enough candles. We have plenty. Your employee is leveling up. No reason at all. <laughs> yeah, see, it dropped down to 25. Because once you stop advertising, it kind of drops. Yeah, because we've played this map for quite a bit. So yeah, once it drops down, it will be fine. Service wise, it's lacking. People are pretty pushed off. Even though I have so many workers, they're all just inefficient. It's just super inefficient. Well, at least we can catch up on all those mugs. 
wash more of those mugs. And it's improving now, so these guys, yeah, dropped all the way to a bomb and slowly going up again. Look at that. Slowly improving our rep with those guys. And our loss still hate us for some reason. Even though I put all their shields and shit all over the place, they still don't like us. I guess there's no way we're gonna get the our loss to like us. Does not look like it's gonna work. <laughs> yeah, they're just bringing in supplies, ignoring all the guests. They're just doing random shit and uh, definitely not a good end. Uh oh, nagging time. All them circling and then just complaining about the employer. Just like the real world. None of them want to work, just want to whine and complain. Your employee is leveling up. Crappy food. Holy crap. That's the first time I've seen crappy food. Yeah, that's because my uh, my really expensive chef. He's doing the dishes, isn't you he? You don't have proper equipment to store some of the resources. Maybe I should fire him. I mean, I fired all my previous cooks because they refused to cook. I should probably fire this one as well because he's so expensive he's so expensive and if he doesn't cook then we may as well have more laborers you know more drudges that to do the dishes is he this guy cooking is my life it's not your life because you ain't cooking let's see if he cooks no he's probably gonna wash dishes or do nothing so not that we don't need people washing dishes, because we kind of do. But we pay him to cook, and he's not cooking. Oh, you found a hair? Yuck, yeah, yep, yeah, mm-hmm. Digging your nose, are you? Outlaws is rising, is it? No, no. Is it? 1.2% maybe it is rising maybe it is yeah we'll follow this guy around I mean if he doesn't cook we have no reason to pay him so much money He's going to do dishes again. Actually, I have no idea what he just did. I think he just didn't do anything. I'm just sitting there. So yeah, cooks are the most useless people in the game they do nothing he just sits around all more day. salt all right you gotta get fired son your employee is leveling up I tried it it just doesn't do anything it's just overpriced if he was just an innkeeper Hire some laborers. Laborers. Drudges. Yeah, we'll hire some drudges. Um, probably can do with some servants as well.
Wow, we dropped down to 16 people. So we have so many workers and so few customers. So few actual customers. How do we even turn a profit, right? Your employee is leveling up. Nah, outlaws are still at 1.2. I don't think this is rising. This one is rising though. This one is travelers. Outlaws just don't like us. But still, travelers isn't going up very much. It was 17.2 and then it's fallen. Anyway, the new people we hired, we gotta make sure that they, they do the new stuff, not the old stuff. Okay, so you... Right. Wait, any one of the new ones? Or not? I don't know. You are one of the new ones. Okay. Okay, so... What do you do? Manual labor, don't do kitchen work. Cleaning is okay. Carrying carpentry, yeah, that's all good. That's all good stuff. Yeah, like manual work is like doing the dishes and stuff. That's all good. Nico, you. Hmm. All right, you're a patrol guy. Seems like you're not the new guy. I thought we hired two new guys. Maybe you're the new guy. Yeah, okay, I think you're the new one. Alright, so you can wait tables and do in keeping and then don't do gossip. Don't do cleaning. Not such a high priority on room services. Yeah, mm -hmm. that'll do. That should keep people happy. Wow, we only have seven people in the inn. We have like double the amount of uh, workers in the inn, only seven people visiting. So what's the quest anyway? Did we finish that last one? Provide lodging for now. one more person. Okay, so we need one more person. I need to advertise for a town crier and then lodging for night one more guy and then this is good. Then the fame rises. Okay, right. Let's go advertise. Advertise. Alright, that's uh, advertising in three locations at the same time. We can do four. Advertise in four locations at the same time. This will spike our numbers. Not that things are gonna get any better. It's just that we're paying such such a lot of people that we need to get customers. Otherwise, we won't be able to pay everybody. <laughs> it looks like we're gonna fail this, but I I blame it mostly on the game being buggy. <laughs> Because we hired so many chefs and all they did was sit around, play with their nostril hairs, and basically do jack shit.
still poor service overall. All right, we're up to 24 people now. to make some money and then we can attract one person to stay and then we will at least finish the quest at least people doing the serving so hopefully they're not gonna complain about bad service too much because we have so many people doing the serving <laughs> 33 now 34 it's keeping on rising because we did advertise in four locations so we expected this Try and build more beds to rent. We we have many beds. We have five beds to rent. A private room and then four single beds. Oh, we're out candles. Somehow. I thought we had 40 candles. How can we be out of candles? I have 45 candles. Ah, there you go. Just needed somebody to go light it. Yeah. This is bullshit. We have plenty of candles. Okay. Alright, we're doing good. Doing good. Is leveling up. It's not that we need more bids. I think you need more fame. Yeah, you need one more point of fame to get that one more guy to show up. I think so. One of your employees is sick. Oh, of course he's sick. up to 40 41 things are getting crazy <laughs> we can take up to 54 yeah we have enough to take 54 customers right now but if it gets to 54, it'll be absolutely nuts. Yeah, we're already struggling at about 40. Actually, we struggle at about 30. We, we just don't have the efficiency because they keep doing the wrong things. If you change their job or priorities, they don't follow it. So more or less, everything seems to yeah, screw up. It's not our fault, it's good well. Alright, it's hovering around 30-ish, 40 for some time now. We can go up to 54. 
it's just not going up to 54. Somebody got upset and left because we didn't sell him to Dean. <laughs> Your employee is leveling up. Dropping down to 30 ish now. It's uh it's getting worse. So maybe we just couldn't get over 40 due to bad service. Yeah, we we, we couldn't go over 40. We we did go over 40 once, but now it's not looking like we're gonna go over 40. Yeah, it's already starting to fall off. Unless we start advertising again. Yeah, it's already starting to fall off. Alright, let's advertise again. Oh wait, what's that? Physician? Send your sick worker to get cured. What? Cool. I didn't know you could get him cured. No, it's not more tables. We we can sit 54 people. We have enough peop we have enough chairs to sit 54 people, it's just that. They wouldn't go up because you have like bad reviews. It never gets that high because of the bad reviews. <laughs> Alright, so we're trying to dump all four criers at the same time again to see if we can bump it high enough that we can get the last visitor to stay at us I think it's scripted I think like if you get one more point of fame that last guy will just show up it's automatic you just need to get fame to 14 points and he'll just show up problem is we can't do that because we have so many problems even when we don't advertise we have only a few people we can't even keep those few people super happy like the service is just still terrible i think it's just the ai problems it's just the ai problems giving us trouble ai just not doing what you designed you, you told them to do seems to be the problem now if they did everything that we specify in the order we specify for them to do then we shouldn't have this problem. It shouldn't happen. Yeah. Yeah, the game is still buggy. Yeah, it's still very buggy. You're kind of getting punished because the AI is buggy. It's not my fault. It's I made sure that there are lots of innkeepers taking orders, but they still don't. They still go and cook. The innkeepers who are supposed to be taking orders and collecting money, they go and cook and they're doing jobs that I didn't tell them to do. And then you have the chefs, the cooks, you told them to cook but they go wash dishes instead, you know like, nobody's doing what you told them to do and it's 
there's no way to tell them to do the right thing because they refuse to do it. Your employee is leveling up. <laughs> they want their money raised. But even if I raise their money, if they don't do what I tell them to do, what's the point, right? If the innkeepers don't take orders and they instead prefer to go cook and then serve customers directly, then what are the kitchen staff doing? What are the cooks doing, you know? So basically, this is just a huge mess of AI. Everything is just wrong. It's still fun to watch them do things, but AI is definitely completely screwed up and everything is just wrong. I, I think there's a lot of potential for this game though, because I, I find it fun even though it's so buggy. It's fun even though it's so buggy when it's actually working. Imagine how much more fun it's going to be. It's just fun watching them do all the crazy shit, but when it is working better, I think I'll have a lot more fun. And if you guys haven't checked out my game yet, I am probably going to run it for a bit. Alright, so let's let's go run my game instead, because this game is like real buggy. Let's go run my game, which is uh, also buggy, but you know. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna quit this. I think there's no point saving, it's kind of screwed up already. Alright, so let me just give me a second, switch over to my game. You guys can hear the music already. It's gonna start uh, scaring people. showing the FPS because I want to tell you guys that we have beautiful graphics but it will run fast enough it will run fast enough all right so this is just a, a, a dungeon walkthrough uh, you can see it's it's beautiful it's, it's scary it's beautiful look at the nice little smoke plumes and fire let's keep going yeah look at the detail levels Looks like a nice, dark, grimy dungeon. This is the, the design. It's a, it's a dark fantasy RPG game um, with online multiplayer components, party-based combat mechanics. There's, uh, there's going to be a couple of monsters in here. And uh, yeah, this, this is like the first main encounter so there's gonna be a little bit of fighting here when you first come into the dungeon and then there's gonna be some some treasure here you can retrieve you know like that's why it's all there like that and then this will be like first little not a mini boss encounter but first tough fight yeah first we get them warmed up in this room and then here you'll get into a nice little fight going and we'll keep going in down here don't you love the graphics? It's so nice, right? I love the detail levels. Yeah. Very dark, very grimy. Alright, so we're gonna go down into this section over here. You see it? You see them coming? They're coming to get you. There's gonna be some cool interactions here. I don't want to spoiler it for you guys when you when you play the actual dungeon, so <laughs> I'm not gonna tell you what happens here. But you can you can imagine, you know, there's one jail with the cell door open, and then this one's still closed. This one's still closed. I'm not gonna tell you what happens because they'll spoiler you. You know, the fun that you encountered for the first time. 
And then there's another treasure room here. Well, not treasure room, another prison room here. And this one is closed as well for future interesting things. We shall see. Yeah, this is the torture room and all the jail cells here. Lots of fun gonna go happen here. Go back here. Yeah, find all these zombies trying to crawl their way out of jail. Uh, my game is a, is a switchable first and third person game. In the dungeons, I prefer players to play in first person because in first person it feels more immersive because it's a dark fantasy game, you know, it's more immersive, it feels scarier when you're in first person. But then when you're outdoors, you can probably play in third person as well. But it's a switchable, switchable, there's a key to let you switch from first to third person. So you can kind of play in whatever mode you prefer. But I personally think the game is more fun in first person. It's more immersive. Yeah, so we'll walk up here. There's a bunch of stuff in here as well. Cool stuff, cool stuff up here. Yeah, we haven't populated this yet. This is just basically an empty dungeon walkthrough. I don't want to spoiler all the stuff for you guys when you fight it. So next week, we're probably going to have our first pre-alpha playtest. So a couple of people will be invited to play it. If you are uh, a regular in my channel, you will get access as well. Just drop by the Discord. Yeah, just make sure, make sure you drop by the Discord and then uh, give you access to play the pre-alpha. Yeah, this is a slightly laggier part of the dungeon because it's a wide open space and you can see that there's huge amounts of fog everywhere. And that usually kills processors. So it took a lot of effort to produce this level of volumetric fogging effect without killing the CPU or the GPU. You can see that we can still get really good performance. Although this is uh, what I consider one of the laggier parts of the dungeon, the open area where there's a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff, a lot of lights to render, a lot of atmospheric effects to render, you know, a lot of lights and smoke and fire to render. But it's still running at an acceptable level. It's still running at an acceptable level. Still good, still good. Yeah, look at how, look how good this texturing looks. How dark, grimy it looks. Alright, keep going. Yeah, anyway, dungeons I think really should be played in, in first person because it feels more immersive. But you can switch to third person if you like. I've, I've run around the dungeons in first and third person. I think I prefer first person better because it's more immersive. But if you prefer third person, you can play it in third person as well. It's a switchable mechanic. Yeah, there's stuff in here as well. I don't want to spoil what happens, but this is a mini boss fight right here. So, there's something you need to do here. I'm not going to tell you what. Because you can see that this is the the main hall. It's a huge main hall. But if you were smart, you would come here and do something here first. Maybe it weakens the mini boss. Maybe. I don't know. You guys will figure it out. Alright, let me go down. other side to potentially do something interesting which I'm not gonna spoil you yeah there's something interesting here that you might want to do before you fight the boss you know it might help you it might help you so I can jump in right now but when you're playing the game you won't be able to do that because I'm using a different controller right now so yeah you won't be able to drop in like I do You'll have to go back the other way to get through it. Because this height, 
I've decided it's too tall so you won't be able to drop from there <laughs> yeah when you're playing on the server it will not allow you to drop from such high distances and over here there will be something cool floating some floaty thing that you gotta pick up that's very cool and uh, I guess you can imagine something interesting is going to happen here something interesting is going to happen here and we'll keep going all right once we get to this section there's another interesting area here I'm not sure whether to put a mini boss here or not but I'll think about it probably will put a mini boss here this is uh, one of the you could say late game epic boss dungeons so it's it's going to be one of the hardest dungeons and then you keep going and then you'll be at this place look at that look at the volumetric fog that's everywhere it's lovely i love it yeah we're not faking it so all the stuff you see it's actual volumetric fog which is traditionally very very expensive to produce such an effect but I love it so I'm putting it everywhere as long as it performs well enough for us to play it's all good right okay so uh, yeah try not to fall down <laughs> try not to fall down because yeah, uh, nasty things happen there'll be some nasty things here so yeah probably don't want to fall into water and then we can keep going do you guys like the particles you see the little dust particles i added that to make it look like this place is stale and musty and old so i added these dust particles to you know give the effect of stale dust in the air and musty and old but I'm not sure if it fits. I know I added all this in, took a lot of work, but I'm not sure if it fits the the feel. So if you think it doesn't fit, let me know. Okay, here we go. Let's get deeper. And down we go. Nice volumetric light system. Giving you the feel, the atmosphere. Yeah, that's right, Zago. Showing off Shiny Dungeon. Yeah, it's my game. That's right. What are you guys doing? You missed out on me walking me, walking you guys through the dungeon. You missed out, mate. You missed out. You probably have to watch the VOD so you don't miss out on the cool stuff. So this, this is, this is the final stage of the dungeon. This is going to be where cool stuff happens yeah this is where the cool stuff happens there will be some things you need to do to get the the, the cool thing to happen <laughs> i'm not gonna spoil it because you guys will have to figure it out but you can imagine that uh, you gotta do something here in order to get something else to happen but i'm sure you guys are smart and you'll figure it out but yeah something you need to do in these two places and then and then you know maybe you die <laughs> yeah maybe you die maybe you don't who knows maybe you're a boss so yeah so this is the cool part and then let me just run our, our way back out so we can show Zargo and Buddha who came late what's in the rest of this place <laughs> you got busy you want to play a knight, Masachi? Cool. Yeah, knights. Knights are going to be the first characters in the game. And then we're going to have archers. And then the other two core classes we're going to add in the game will be uh, healers and mages. There's no healer class and there's no mage class. We combined all the healers into one healer class. Combined all the mages into one mage class. Because this is just testing. So they'll have like ridiculously overpowered spells. Because they have... We're supposed to have maybe five or six mage classes spread out and you know, all the skills will be in different classes. But then, you know, because for testing, we're just going to make it simple. All the mages are going to have, you know, spells from like five or six subclasses. So they're going to be completely overpowered. 
and the healers as well. There's gonna be like clerics, druids, shaman, you know, there's like a lot of healers. We just bundle them into one for testing to make it easier. So yeah, we have overpowered spellcasters. <laughs> Spoilers. Uh, when I say we, it's mostly me, but I have I have some other people working on it as well. But it's mostly me. It's mostly me. Some people help with different bits, because I'm not really an artist, so I have people helping with art. I have people helping with various bits of the game. But I I I uh I did most of the lighting effects here, the the layout design. Uh, I placed enemies, you know, things like that. I designed the, the fights, I designed the characters, I designed the classes. Basically, I did most of the work. Yeah. Yeah. You saw this dungeon in Skyrim? <laughs> nah, this dungeon isn't in Skyrim. But I'm sure that there are similar dungeons. I'm sure that dungeons sort of look alike. Uh, but you know, our 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 game is based around uh, procedural dungeons. So there will be a few static dungeons like this. This is one of the epic dungeons where there's going to be a lot of really difficult bosses to fight, and it's a very difficult dungeon. Uh, so this is one of the epic dungeons. There's going to be maybe five epic dungeons. Those will be handcrafted like this one. They're all handmade handmade dungeons and then most of the stuff you fight will be in procedural dungeons so 90% or 95% of the stuff you you see and play will be generated generated using special algorithms that I designed as well so they will have special rules to them special spawning systems oh yeah Dago you didn't see this bit right since you came late I'm gonna show you guys this When you watch, when you, you see the screenshot, it just doesn't feel like that, right? When you see it moving, it's like, okay, now it's now it's awesome. <laughs> when you see a screenshot, it doesn't tell you anything. When you see them like trying to crawl their way out, now it's much more fun. Much more fun, right? Yeah, I know, right? I know. Yeah, I designed them to you know, like try to crawl your way out. And there's gonna be something cool here, I'm not gonna spoil it for you. Yeah, there's one locked one, another locked one, and one that's open, and you know, this is a torture chamber. So, you know, people have died here, and people are continuing to die here. Cool things will happen here. And then, uh, of course, there's gonna be this little secret hidden spot here. I don't know what's gonna be in there. No yet, haven't decided what's gonna be in there yet. And this one's gonna be open, so there may be some person to talk to, you know. Maybe even some person you need to rescue. Or maybe even somebody you have a choice of rescuing or killing or you know, lots of choices to be made in this area and it's gonna be really really fun. There's going to be a number of mini bosses here as well before you fight the epic super boss. And all the mini bosses are really strong in this particular dungeon. So when we play test this dungeon, this dungeon is um, pretty much 90% complete. I'm just placing all the enemies. Um, but in our first play test, there will be no bosses. Because the bosses, I, I'm part, partially, I don't want to spoiler it too early. The other, the other thing is also because the boss design is very complicated, so it requires more time and work to fix up. And there's going to be something interesting here as well. You guys will see it soon. And we'll be going back out here where is our starting position in the dungeon. Yeah, frame rate is pretty good. Frame is pretty good. But that's also because the 
the multiplayer engine hasn't been loaded in yet. This is simply single player walking around. But since the game is party based and multiplayer, uh, a multiplayer engine is applied on top of this. So the frame rate drops by about half. So whatever FPS you see, the FPS you get in the game with everything else is going to be about half of what you see. So here, I will be getting about 50 FPS. In some of the complicated areas, I'll be dropping into like 30 something, 30 something FPS in some of the, the difficult areas, the open areas. It'll drop down to about 36, 35 FPS. And this is with a 970 GTX. Uh, there's a switchable camera when I finish coding it. Uh, it'll be a third person, first person switchable camera. So it'll be a, like, it's kind of like there's a World of Warcraft camera mode, and then there's third person, and then there's first person. Um, yeah, so when I finish fixing that, right now it's a bit buggy. I can, I can enable it, but you have to know that if you go into first person, you're stuck. You can't go out of first person. Right now, right now the camera works. You can you can you can go around in third person and you know you can zoom in and become first person. But once you're in first person, you're stuck and it won't go out. So I can enable that so that you can do it. But if you get stuck in first person, then you have to play the rest of the dungeon in first person because you can't go back out to third person. Uh, but yeah, it's it's a bug that eventually will fix. It's not a high priority for me but eventually we'll fix it and make it a key so you can switch between first and third person and then you can rotate around and do cool stuff. Anyway, just wanted to show you guys the dungeon. Hope you guys enjoyed the little walkthrough. If you have not already joined the Discord, you really should join it. If you're regular on my stream, you will get access to the alpha if you want to play with us. This game will support up to 500 concurrent players per server, so we're not going to have 500 players in this dungeon. But saying that it's capable of 500 players uh, running at once, so there will be a game mode. I'm calling it survival, but I mean, we can ch change the name. It's not the not something we can, you know, we're, we're locked into. It's going to be about defending and building a base and defending against hordes of enemies. You know, be interesting. It's like a tower defense base defense you know it's a co-op game mode i can also make it pvp base so you have to fight an enemy maybe i'll do that that was actually the original design but i thought co-op might be more fun i thought a co-op might be more interesting working together instead of just trying to kill each other would be more interesting and we can throw enemies at you and then you have to build up your base you have to collect treasures build up your base you have to level up and you have to defend your base yeah it'll be interesting So, yep, yeah, so just wanted to walk you through this. Uh, if you haven't joined the Discord, do join it. And if you have any questions, do ask us on the Discord. We'll post, we'll post new updates every day or two when I get it done. And then we'll see you guys again real soon. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you. Bye-bye.